This is a horror game podcast. It is meant for mature audiences. It may contain shocking revelations, violence, and sexual themes. Viewer discretion is advised. fellow investigators and welcome to our video podcast into the darkness where my friends and i are playing the call of cthulhu role-playing game i'm your host tom Rayley. the scenario is infilth it was written by mike mckinn who is also our game master this is a one shot before we begin we have a new patron elmar kofler uh, is contributing five dollars a month to our club which is very helpful thank you so much elmer for those of you listening for the first time, we are currently running four different scenarios a week. We started in 2015 and have produced around 3,000 hours available for you to watch. We don't monetize our videos. We rely on your patronage to keep us going. Your help is always appreciated as our costs keep going up. If you would like to help, uh, we have a Patreon link in the description, or you can show us your appreciation uh, using the thanks button just below the screen. Our deepest gratitude to all of your uh, to all of you for helping and keeping us going and helping us improve our show. So, without any further delays, let's begin our journey into the darkness. Mike, thank you, Tom. I can't wait. Uh, so, we'll start with a quick intro here. Um, I guess this is a scene you can picture 30 years ago from our starting point. We see a huge two-story building in the old style, once so common in this neighborhood. In the darkness of night, it looks like any of the others on the street. But as we get closer, we realize something is very wrong. Is it the sweet scent of decay on the spring wind we notice first? Or the sound of the front screen door slamming, a rhythmically punctuating the discordant tones of the forgotten wind chimes on the sinking veranda? The windows are stained, the siding shows wear and water damage. We tilt diagonally for our viewpoint to move into the house through a broken window on the second floor. A young man stands in a small library, a blanket of mold covering the great wall of books. The boy gulps and forming his hands in the shape of a spade pushes through the fungus veil and feels it yield, granting him access to the spines of books within. With no time to spare, he searches frantically for his salvation, and at last he pulls out a volume and tears it open. Drops of ichor fly off and sting his blistered face. It is a ruin like him, but yes, it seems to be the book he seeks. He pockets it just as he hears the sound of glass breaking downstairs. Another smash, and the whoosh of fire spreading. The destroyer has returned to finish her work. And at this point, there'd be a discordant sound of the orchestra swelling, and the words infilth would cross the screen. And then we cut to 30 years later, as uh, we're looking outside a residential street with many houses all along in a straight line of rows. There are two houses in particular we're focusing on that you can see there's a small group of workers outside gathering around. And as this is happening, it's it's the address 131 A and B on Maple Street. And our first vehicle drives up, um, being driven by Evan Ash. Evan, what are you driving? And, and describe your arrival. Uh, I'm in my white Toyota truck. I uh, pull up. I hop out. I got my coffee. And my uh, my two belt with me. I am the electrician, electric contractor. Uh, and today I've got just finishing up work. I've got a couple of uh, of uh, lamp fixtures to hang. Uh, put on all of the uh, the little uh, uh, box covers and uh, and get everything ready for tomorrow. Um, I, uh, I, 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 is there like a little lockbox that has the keys in it or? You know what? It, it looks like there's quite a few others already here there. You uh, know that your team's going to be working in 131A. Beside you, you can see is 131B where there's kind of a mirror group working and you can see, uh, uh, 
guy in his early 40s um he's got long hair and headphones on that he kind of pulls down when he sees you he's got a you can see over the top of his cas uh construction overalls you can see just the edgings of the word slayer on his t-shirt behind it and he hey evan you made it yep i'm here i'm ready to get to work you recognize him as Dan Grants, and uh, he is the plumber working at the house opposite. Um, this is your first time at this location, is that uh, you've been working further down the block up till now, and um, for whatever reason, they you were informed that they needed to finish work tonight on um, these two houses and kind of quickly assembled a team. And uh, you can see already both door, both front doors are open, and there's kind of people moving in and out um yeah. as you are talking to dan um right behind you you see leo mckinley pulling up and leo what are you driving and and uh yeah describe your arrival so yeah leo's driving a um like a box van um that, that that's red and it has um mckinley mckinley and sons on the side of it uh he looks he looks rather tired he actually wasn't supposed to be on this job it was supposed to be his son um, but his son called him in the middle of the night uh, saying he had an emergency with his family. So he's just trying to help him out and try not to think that this is the sixth time this has happened in the past six weeks. Uh, so getting out the car, um, I just uh, started grabbing some of my tools and looking at this this job that I really don't want to do. I just want to get it done as quickly as possible. The first person you see is uh, Evan, the electrician. Um, it's probably possible that uh, your son uh, has worked with him before. Perhaps you've crossed paths with him too. You you recognize him by name. Well, Mr. Oh, Mr. McKinley. Yeah, yeah. I've worked with your son a few times. Oh, nice to meet you. And I'll, I'll shake his hand. And so uh, uh, what can you tell me about this job? How far along is it? I haven't walked inside yet. Uh, you know, they... They tell you that you just got a few things to do, but they seem to be wanting us to work all the way overnight in case just to get everything done. So I bet there's more than what they're letting on. I swear to God, if there's a jacuzzi tub and I have to do the wiring for it, I shit. You know, That's huge. yeah. And at that uh, point, and you're a plumber. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. Um, well, I'll try to stay out your way. I'll make sure everything stays grounded. And we'll just make sure we don't turn this into a giant tinderbox. What do you say about yeah. that? Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. And at that point, I think we'll have Joey showing up. All right. So Joey is driving up in his sort of beat up Toyota Camry. Um, and as he does, you know, windows roll down. He's just whistling along the way, um, you know, getting out, getting his sort of, um, you know, tool belt and everything. He uh, walks up to the house and sees uh, the two gents um, and go, hey, everyone. Oh, it's a beautiful night, isn't uh, it? Aren't y'all uh, glad we're going to have some great work done? They've got you on this job, huh? They always have me on the job. You know, got to get those pipes. Got to get those uh, furnaces. It's okay. getting chilly. Uh, hey, Leo, I haven't seen you uh, in, in doggone years. Where's uh, where's the kid? An emergency. Oh, uh, what? Uh, his... Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll get into that later. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am looking forward to a nice little hefty bonus that's coming our way. My daughter needs braces. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. It's a, it's a molars again. Orthodontics. Yeah. I, I frantically wrote that down. That's great. Okay. Uh, and at this point, our, our last vehicle arrives, and it's got two of the workers together in it. Um, if you want, I'll have you guys explain uh, why it is you did carpool and uh, what that looks like as you show up. So uh, I'm driving a it's a white cube van. It says Flooring Fanatics on the side, and there's an off-brand Tasmanian Devil character that's kind of putting down what looks like tiles and stuff. Uh, the windows are rolled down and there's some overly loud seventies, easy listening music. You guys can hear before you even see the van. Cause we got the, we got it cranked up too loud. Uh, and I'm just driving with one hand and drinking a lunch, bunch of coffee. And I'm listening to my friend here, uh, tell me some recent event in his life. I'm just nodding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Gabe, the carpenter, uh, Gabe Wovasovich, um, Riding along, and we, uh, 
Gabe and, and Bo go to a lot of jobs together. Carpentry and flooring go together. Yeah. So. He basically has space in my van for his stuff too. Just it works out nicely. Is that the Waswich and Burgess? Yeah. Hey, so. Yo, hey boys. Hey. No, glad you guys are Duncan. Here. Did you bring donuts yeah. for everyone? Yes, we I did. did. But hands you off you got cooler. so mad at me last time. I remembered. You like the blueberry ones, don't you? Or did I get mm. it wrong? Mm -hmm. I did great. Okay, yeah. Oh, you know that that's gonna make the night go a lot faster. So yeah, appreciate yeah. that, boys. No worries. Nobody sure. wants Staring to eat the ones with the blue. Blue. Hmm. Ice. I'll eat those. I don't, I don't know what is, what is the <laughs> hang up. It's, They're it's, always gone. Somebody's eating them. <laughs> as you're as you're walking up, Sam, uh, uh, a tall, very muscular man uh, moves past you and kind of just cherry picks one of the top donuts. And uh, too late, you realize it's that jerk Gary who is working at the uh, building next door. Hey, which one did he, Gary, one did he, did he take the chocolate glaze? Uh, it looks like a chocolate covered. Yeah, sad booby trap that one. I knew he did that shit. I'm just I'm just smirking and not saying anything. <laughs> Gary, get mm -hmm. your own. These are for us. Yeah, damn you, Gary, oh. taking the chocolate glazed every time. Bastard. <laughs> you guys, you look like a pretty slow crew. I think we're going to be done our side a lot quicker than you will be. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, you've been here for hours. <laughs> you hear uh, a, near, a woman nearby wearing the same CAS overall speaks up and says, Gary, no need to be, be a jerk. We're all doing the same job here, and we're all making triple time salary and there's nothing to complain about that listen to your mother gary play nice mm -hmm. and some of the others kind of laugh as they're all getting ready and it's about then when uh the conversation's punctuated by the loud sound of a truck backfiring and you can see a uh it's almost indescribable what color the truck is as it comes around the corner and kind of lurches for a second to the side before correcting its aim and steering up and, and parking right behind uh Bo's van um it's, it's somewhere underneath all the dirt and crud on it is the signature blue of CAS construction. And you see the door, front door slam open and uh, the foreman steps out, uh, Rich Masilva. And Rich uh, is not known for his personal hygiene on the best of days, uh, but it looks like he's been running excessively ragged in the, over the most recent time as he kind of steps out, his eyes are a little bit bloodshot and he stares at a lot of you. Okay, everyone here. Hey, yeah, Rich, how's it? Uh, how's it hanging? Oh, you know the usual. Good to good to see you, Joey. We'll uh, get you folks set up inside. I uh, I'll be stepping out for a while. I'll show you each what you need to do. But um, companies uh, agreed to uh, buy you guys some supper as well. So I'll be cool. uh, stepping out to pick up some pizza for you. Maybe two or three hours from now. Um, but we'll we'll let you do your thing. Come on in. He said, you guys wait a second. I'm gonna take care of 131A. And with that, he motions the five of you to follow him in. Okay. You can stay you step up into the house and you can see inside this particular infill. Um, you come into a room directly in front of you. There's a stairway, it's leading to a very open second floor, or you can think you could pretty much spot already the uh doors leading to various bedrooms, master bedroom, side bedroom, maybe a bedroom slash office. Uh looks like a bet it looks like a washroom up there as well. Uh directly to your left on the main floor, you can see a washroom as well as on the other side, leads to a living room and further into the house into a kitchen and the big window looking out the back. Um, throughout the front, as you step in, you can see that there's cardboard placed over the, the floor. It uh, looks like a combination of places where it, it's kind of still subflooring and you can see a big roll of carpet pushed off to the side and uh, a few other tools and, and pieces of construction you're going to be needing are, are placed around. Towards the back, you can see there's a window leading into the backyard. And seeing through that back window out into the backyard, you can see about maybe 30 or 40 feet away, there is a separated garage. And um, Rich Masilva informs you, especially um, Gabe, that, yeah, the, the saw horses are set up there. There's some wood there for cutting some side panels and paneling for the doors. So you don't get the sawdust in the house. So you can make your cuts out there and bring them in. And you can see in front of that door as well, there's a big cardboard put on the floor so you don't track anything in. But other than that, it looks like it's just plain dirt outside right now. 
And uh, with that, he kind of begins walking each of you through the house and um, looking at Evan first. He points to the living room and you can see where there's wires hanging out of the ceiling and points, okay, yeah, we need lights to go in there. And looks over to Leo and is pointing out places where, okay, the plumbing's hard. The plumbing is is in, but it needs to be pipes need to be connected to the sink and to the hot and hot and cold water and all that stuff. Um, points to Bo and is pointing out the carpet and some of the linoleum that needs to go into the kitchen. Looks like Gabe is going to be yeah, putting in the the floorboards and everything going along, kind of separating the drywall floor from the from the carpets and and um, and then brief takes Joey downstairs and shows him where the furnace has been set up and you can kind of see the pre-made tracks where you just need to align and set up and uh, there's a vacuum system set up as well with you need to connect all the pieces and with that before you know it he uh, wishes you all a uh, productive night and uh, yeah I had to talk to a few of your unions but everything is okay we'll, we'll make sure you get paid uh, your three times your normal hourly rate and yeah, we got someone coming tomorrow to have a look at these places, so uh, we want to get them done. Hey, as long as the union's okay with it. Yep. You bet. That's well, good to me. Let's get to work. Oh, yeah. In that case, I'll see you in a couple hours. And you hear him go out the front door, and, and uh, you can hear... Um, the woman with the ponytail next door, Sammy, as the door opens, you can hear her calling to Gary, like, you're such a fucking pig. And he laughs and and, and kind of just muted conversations out there as the door closes and as Rich goes into the other building. And the five of you are in the house. So it looks to me, honest to God, like he's given us three or four days of work that we have to get done overnight. Oh yeah, it's going to be a shit um, sort of show. Sounds like my my assessment of the stuff that he gave me mm -hmm. is is a lot, but it's a lot less than like uh, than Steve's uh, than uh, than Gabe's got. Uh, he's still got flooring to do, and so does uh, so does Sam. Um, I can help out. I'll get my stuff done as quickly as possible, and if you guys sure. need help. Well, you know I, what he's a knee kicker. From, yeah, I, I need to know from you, Sam and Gabe, yeah. sort of what uh what's going where, just so I could make sure the you know humidity and and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't end up with warp uh, planks and things like that. So you guys just let me know where I need uh I need yeah. to do my work. I've uh I've I've only seen people use the knee kicker. I've never done it. Before, I can share so. the technique. It's not too yeah. Um, We'll just make it look good, and then yeah, <laughs> that's it'll pass it's all If we got to get it done overnight, it's just good enough, right? I mean, mm. they get what they all get. All right, all right. Well, let's get to work. Hey, okay. hey, Bo, let's let's go check out the shop in the garage. Make sure, sure that let's it's see what got they got. We that need. way, we don't have to lag stuff out of the van if we don't need to. Okay, Can we exactly. get some music going too. Maybe a radio or sure. something. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring I'll bring, I'll bring in the uh, the player. Makes and, the uh, makes the work go faster. Yep. What's it uh, going to be playing? Is there going to be any contest gotta, over music? Yeah. Well, I won't fight you guys, but I got it set to he's listening to rock right now. And you guys want that's, the classical that's cool. or something? No, that's, that's cool. for me. That's cool. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Just checking. It's not rap. God no. Well, I can't, so, I, mean, I can't like carpet to rap. Music. I mean, I like rap, but it's just a little too hard for. Yeah, I can't focus when I hear not not for the entire night. It ain't. Yeah. No. We might right. need some in the middle of the night. Get us moving. But okay, maybe no, right. maybe we'll no... switch to the rap hour when we get past midnight. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe no country either. I don't know. God, no. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. You can't pay me extra uh, for that. That's all right. Great. Let's go. <laughs> well, after uh, Gabe and, and uh, Sam head out, and yeah, you see the garage. It's got the sawhorses set up, and you can mm -hmm. see there's a pile of different sizes of wood and stuff to use for all the parts. Everyone kind of settles into the rhythm of what they're doing, and we're going to go through a round of checks at this point. So I'm going to have you each roll. You should have a art. Perfect. Yes. Tom, Tom is ready for this. Yes. <laughs> He's uh, got the actual tools. <laughs> got the, wonderful. I'm okay. Ready. So. <laughs> so check your sheet. Everyone will have an art or craft that is directly connected to their to their career. And yeah, uh, yeah I'll have you roll it and report whether a regular success or, or miss or hard success or an extreme. And we'll go from there. Uh, so mine then would be elect 
electrical repair. Yep. Yeah. You bet. Ooh, 25 heart success for sheet metal. Okay, we got a hard there. 40. Perfect. Hard success for plumbing. Nice. Uh, success on carpentry. Yeah, regular success on flooring. Okay, regular. regular. Oh, sorry, Tom. Regular. Right. And what was that, Steve? Regular success. Okay, nice. So everybody did good. Oh, that's great. That's uh, so. What this means is that as the first hour goes by, you're all working away doing your thing. And um, for those of you who got regular, you are on top of things. Everything is go seems to be going well. You notice a few things, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but specifically for um, uh, Billy and uh, sorry for for Joey and Leo, uh, the two of you are really cruising. You're finding everything's coming together, and and you're getting ahead of it. So the next time we do one of these checks, the two of you are going to roll with a advantage dice. Um, but in the meantime, the first hour comp passes, and um, Joey probably first. You notice um, as you're mainly working in the basement at this point that yeah, there's some crumpled newspaper here and there in the basement, and a little bit of almost debris or disturbances around. Um, Sam, you notice as you're working on the floors in one of the washrooms that mm -hmm. you think you find like rat droppings or something. Why is it? It is this place, you know, even uh, when we clean uh, it. Are they talking really old ones? Yeah, they don't look that fresh. old. Looks kind of fresh. Is that, but, uh, yeah. What about the newspaper? Like, is there, like, dates or is it just, like, crumbled crap? Yeah, okay, so you're going to pick one of them up? Yeah. Okay, very gingerly, you kind of grab it. You can see it's smudged. You're not sure what's smudged on it, but it, it, it looks like... I guess I read it. Or so I, I found it, so I'll read it. <clears throat> Attack on Memorial Service, April 2nd, 1994. Hey, the same day as today. The close casket viewing of Dr. Curtis Wilson was interrupted yesterday by an unknown female assailant who chased guests from the memorial with a modified shotgun. The attackers believed to have then used gasoline to destroy the room, including the reins of Dr. Wilson, before escaping. Police are investigating this as potentially connected with an earlier arson this year. Sadly, Dr. Wilson was preceded in death by his wife Marlene and their children, Elise and Tanner. The Wilson's oldest son, Arnold, is currently missing. The police have set up a hotline for any information regarding this case. What the hell is this shit? Um, and then Joey just crumbles it and throws it away. Yeah. <laughs> Um, around this point, it's probably possible that uh, you've all been putting in an hour of work and you've probably crossed paths a few times during it, but maybe this is the first time now that the five of you come face to face at some point in the house. Uh, Are you guys like seeing rat like, you know, shit and everything all yep. over the place? Yep, rat, rat shit, shit all over the place. Yeah, I think they have an infestation be... problem here. Like, when it's you guys fresh are... too, yeah. Yeah. So but the there's... sub flooring, are you guys seeing like, even more or, or what's going on there yeah definitely seen rap poo it's just kind of like oh i haven't the, seen any of the little devils but you guys should watch out you don't want to get yeah. like uh, i mean, I mean the new construction yeah. there shouldn't be anything for them to eat i mean the yeah. duct work is going to be a pain if, if we have to worry about that it's in the walls yeah. too and we rats in the walls and just as you're talking you hear the sound of a knock at the front door right i'm up on who the is ladder, it so i'll walk it open the door. It opens and you see uh, Sammy and uh, Dan standing there. And I was like, hey, you guys, sorry to bug you. Uh, we had a bit of an accident next door. Uh -oh. oh, shit. What happened? I don't know what happened. Oh, that fucking idiot Gary cut himself on his, on his saw. Oh, Stupid fucking like Gary. lost a finger or what the you hell? You need to take him to the ambulance? <laughs> no, I, it's, it's ambulance? just a gash. He says he's okay. Is that? Uh, well, do you remember to call uh, Bob, the union rep? Yeah, I'll have to. Uh, we're going to give uh, Rich a call, too, just to be right. sure. And uh, it's probably just karma for him stealing Bo's donut. Well, look, the, the property isn't quite as clean as we thought that it was. So yeah, make sure he, uh, you know, cleans that out. Yeah. Oh, you're you're finding that, too. Yeah, like he's yeah, a, sick, a little but we bit. We don't want him to yeah. get like, you know. How long have they been memory. working on this place? At this I point? don't know. It is that uh, we were talking amongst ourselves. I none of you were on the building crew. Mm -mm. Uh, or stay no. on the job. Were we? No, we weren't. No, you we weren't. Call yeah. me tonight. No. 
Yeah. Uh, so same with us. Maybe they left it open for a couple of days, and the uh, you know bugs and rats and mice came in. Oh, Ben, our sheet metal guy thought there was someone living in the basement of ours. All kinds. Oh, of that's crap freaking weird. Down there. Oh, there Can might I? be. Yeah, that could happen. Jeez. Has anybody um, been in the basement? Uh, yes, uh, tonight uh, Joey has been, and it's, yep. it's quite possible that Evans made a trip to the electrical boxes down there, so as he's doing stuff, he probably makes needs to make a few trips to turn off uh, fuses and stuff. Neither I imagine it's probably some meth heads or something that might have... Right. I didn't, I mean, I didn't see any evidence anything. of anybody yeah. breaking in, though, so... I mean, you guys oh. think it'll be faster if we all work on one house and then the other? Like, the entire, like, drug nah. in ours? Yeah. It's we're already started. We might as well. If you, if you have a uh, first aid kit or something, though, yeah, I mean, you. oh, yeah, in the back, uh, I have one of my in the truck, car, too. The yeah. white truck, white truck, okay. There's a there's like a red metal box, it's not locked. Okay, sounds good. Flip it open, and the two and of them go out. Oh. Sucks to be them. We're gonna we're gonna get this done. Before now, <laughs> now I feel now I feel guilty for putting a laxative in that donut ah. for dirty to eat. Oh shit! So now he's lost. That's probably we throw him off. He has diarrhea. Oh, he's going to have a serious shits later. He deserves it. But, oh, I feel bad because he cut himself. Damn it! Oh, ah, I don't feel bad. Lose. He's a jerk. He didn't lose a finger. He's fine. Yeah. At lunchtime, I can go over all the scars that I have from cutting myself. Yeah, it must be pretty yeah. bad. I mean, oh. for for them to come over and talk to us about it, because like. I mean, I got cuts well, all well, over no. my hands already. Yeah. Well, Gary's they talking just need great. They yeah. just see the first aid kit. All right, let's uh, let's get back. All right. All yeah. right, let me grab a donut, get a coffee, and then uh, go okay. at it again. Right back at it. Sounds good. So we'll start hour two. This time uh, we're going to do the same test again of your thing. Uh, this time there's going to be slightly different results based on it. Um, Leo and Joey are both rolling with a um, an advantage dice as well. Uh, that time. First Hard roll six. was 61, second roll was 11. So that's a that's a um that's critical or, or extreme. Yes, whatever. extreme. Yeah. Okay. We got I got 22 out of 80, so a hard. Yeah, I got a hard too. I failed. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Steve was I rolled an 83. Oh, you fumbled though. You can spend luck. luck. You can spend luck. luck, yeah. Is it worth spending luck? I don't probably know. not. Save it, save it yeah. for dinner. It'd be funny if we all roll so well, we're just done the thing before. Oh, we leave it. before the monsters show up. I know. I'm I'm probably probably like, I don't care really how the carpentry is here. <laughs> they probably Joe, did last minute. Uh, how about Leo? Uh, yeah, I rolled a nine. Oh, oh okay. Ooh. We're doing well, except for poor Gabe. That's what he's doing. <laughs> so I'm okay. trying to move fast, so I've like I've decided to instead of using copper, I'm gonna I'm gonna wire that. I'm gonna lay all pecs through the house so i'm just like working on the manifold and getting everything pulled oh. through it's a little bit quicker nice and, um, okay yeah right now leo you're upstairs in the ensuite bathroom and you there's a large bathtub here there's a small shower off to the side and and sink and, and toilet but mainly it's this soaker tub that you're trying to get hooked up and you've got the plastic tubes coming up you've kind of pulled off the sides of it and looking at that you can see it looks like the water lines are successfully installed and um in i guess that's pretty much what your role is going towards and as you hook it up um you do turn it on to test it and you hear a <laughs> as the water's trying to fight its way up through it oh shit so it's a pressure problem so um i would want to go to the basement and uh check the 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 water line coming into the house yeah to yeah. make sure that's not like <laughs> half open or anything crazy like that and uh, you you stand up and step towards the door. And as soon as you're crossing over the threshold into the master bedroom, you hear, and then the sound of something splatter against the uh, tub, and then the water starts running. Okay, so let, let, let me take a look in the tub to see what, like, belched out. Okay, and you can see that it appears to be a gray mass of some kind of gunk mixed with hair, and um, it is kind of splattered across the tub, and you can see the water is running a filthy dark gray kind of mix that's splashing down and, and hitting the, the kind of 
drain on the on the tub and splattering away from it. Okay, so that is disgusting, and that's also a big problem for me getting paid. So I'm going to go to my truck, and I'm going to install a filter system, a filtration system, to see if I can get that water a little cleaner. Because that's that's yeah. a little bit more than just debris in the in the new in the new packs. That's nasty. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, you run out and as you come back in and you're you're working and you've turned it off and you turn it on and it kind of keeps chugging again. And and eventually, as you're doing that and you're installing this, you see the water start to run clear. But the, that smell of heavy sulfur and and it really, really bad, no, almost makes you nauseous smell. And you know what? In fact, I am going to have you make a constitution uh, roll at this time. Okay. Am I going to flow, chow? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. That's an eight. Oh, no. Okay, yes. You feel it it rising up in your throat and and um yeah, quickly pulling open the uh, toilet. <laughs> you you have a, you quickly vomit and uh step out of the room and uh yeah, the smell is thick but but as you go on, you're still well ahead of of schedule. Um as you've installed this filtration system, now it starts to you just gingerly reach in with a spare rag you have and are able to scrape this stuff out, but um I'll also yeah. head back into the uh, the, the uh, bathroom, and I'll flush the toilet to confirm that the toilet is working as well. And if there is that brief pause for a second where where nothing, and then it does, and and you almost have a sigh of relief there that that it worked. As this is happening downstairs in the basement, um, Joey, you are also um, you have the extreme as well. Um, you are working on the vents leading from the furnace and fans, and there's um here is where they all connect down here, and they're they're fairly almost a foot wide pieces of uh, sheet metal that you're putting in, and just as you're you're connecting apart, there's like little um, braces that you wrap around. Yep, you're standing on a little ladder, and um, you think you hear something. Oh, you're muted. Sorry, like a rattle, or what am I hearing? It's a voice. Voice? Like in the vents? It sounds like it's coming from the vents. Uh, it's probably the flooring guys, you know, talking and it's just passing through. So you yeah, just it's continues. probably coming from one of the one of the vents in the house. But yeah. as you keep working, you you hear it again. And if you're not mistaken, it sounds like a child's voice. Wait, what? Uh, he's going to put his ear up against the um, event to, the, to see if he could sort of hear, hear more. Yeah, I'm going to have a little boy or a little girl? Sounds like a little girl, and I'll have you roll a listen check. Ooh. Please fail, please fail, please fail. <laughs> Ooh, 52. Let's see. Listen, 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 listen. 30. Uh, no, failed. Uh, yeah, so you can't hear much of it. You 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 just hear whatever the voice is saying. She sounds worried and almost on the edge of frantic. Rap. I'm I'm gonna go in and and yell out, um, or at least walk up. Hey guys, who's uh? You, you, what the hell are you guys trying to play at? Hmm, what's up? What, what are you talking about? Which, I which one of you too. dumbasses is like making little weepy noises? No one's talking, man. Yeah, we're just focused. Is Maybe that Gary? Are you listening to the Gary radio? Crying. No, I like the radio sound. Like, was it rock? Yeah. It's like a little... Well, you know what? It's probably nothing, guys. Don't worry about it. I Check your phone. You probably something. turned it on in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. You, you dialed somebody. Wait, I didn't butt down anyone. I was standing up. <laughs> well, you could butt down standing up if anybody could. Yeah, well, that's, that's why you don't go to butt. work in skinny jeans. Well, and you know what? My phone was... <laughs> In my front pants, so it ain't butt dialing, okay? Okay. You say something that. else. But, but does anybody smell that? Yeah. Whoa. Um Wait. sorry about that. Oh uh, man, that is dude. That is do you like excellent. to eat a burrito or that's, something? That's what, like, oh, what is that? I don't think I've ever smelled There's that. something in the bell. water. That's what did. No. I, I just installed all these water lines and it's like this weird gray oh. gunk in this smell. Oh, this shit. is yes. The water works. Oh Jesus! Mm -hmm. I hope they did the the lines right. Oh, oh. wait—is this even so, safe to live in? 
No, this water's coming from the city. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to call yeah. someone for that. Oh. Yeah, call city city sewage. Hey, oh, Jesse, I, I want to hear what you were listening to. Oh, come down, come on down. Let's go down to to the furnace. Yeah. Gabe, as you get down there, um, you've been frustrated so, so far. Um, a lot of the wood in the garage seems to be a little bit moldy or, or yeah. soft or something. You're having a little bit of trouble with the tile saw. But getting getting down there and listening to uh, what Joy points out, you don't hear anything. You hear that? Man. No. Come on, man. Do I still hear it? No. There seems to be I nothing think you, there. I Maybe. think you need some more coffee or something. Yeah, you, sure you know what? It's out? yeah, it's probably nothing, man. Thanks a lot. Kids Had playing the in the back. neighborhood, maybe. Yeah, maybe a cat. Maybe cat. Uh, time cats is it? Sound like babies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could be. Oh, a cat. Could just be the wind, you know. So as this is happening, um, Sam, you yeah. are working in the kitchen. You're finishing up the linoleum, and you've gotten you've again. You're doing great now. You found your flow. Uh, you've gotten around the corners of the kitchen island and pressed underneath the carpets. Um, as this is happening, you can hear uh, Joey. You see Gabe walk through back and forth, and mm -hmm. maybe you're calling down. You turn around and. It looks you the well. The first thing you see is your beautiful linoleum floor has heavy, muddy, heavy, muddy footprints stepping across it and into what? the house. Okay, I'll, I check out the boot prints so I can try to figure out whose boots it is. Uh, looking at the boot prints, it's not a perfect match for Gabe's. Uh, Gabe, Gabe's back on his way. And well, he knows better now. too. I didn't think it would be Gabe. I said, but Gary might have snuck in for some stupid reason. No, they lost good. his finger. Yeah, but you never know. He's nuts. I don't recognize the boots. Don't recognize the boots. Okay, Gabe, you're. I'm not talking to you. But did any of you guys track the mud back here? This is this is kind of like working against getting us done on time. It's not even raining. What mud? No, I've got, I got those boot booty covers. Yeah, I got my paper booties on too. Gary, you asshole! Did you sneak in here? Fuck off, man. You hear from next door, but okay, it wasn't you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna follow these tracks because I'm annoyed. Like... Yeah, they just lead to the door, and then you can't get much further in the backyard. You can see the pad kind of path that Gabe's been following to and from the house, but there seems to be no other source for them. Hey, they yeah. said that there might be a homeless person who's been. I'm I'm around. starting to wonder that did these boats did these boots look like they're in good shape? You can kind of tell sometimes. Not really. Yeah, no. You can see the the print is not uh, clear or defined or anything. Yeah, it's. Yeah, you know what, guys? I think we got somebody wandering around the house right now. These shoes look like they're crap. Well, says it sounds like awkward. a little girl. Maybe it's a little girl. No, this boots. is a man. These are these are men's boots, right? Could be a girl wearing a man's boots. Yeah, it could be a guy with a high register voice too. Okay, Evan? Gabe, oh, Gabe do you want to come with me upstairs? Let's do a top down search just to make sure there isn't some squatter around here screwing up our work. Oh, oh you're and here you, Gabe. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you bet. Okay, we're gonna go to the very top, and we're gonna like do a little search on the way down yeah so hey, yeah. Hey, as you're as you're going by there flip that switch i want to see if this works yeah sure click and you do um evan you have been working on those um display lights in that uh kind of front living room yeah and yeah, everything should be wired and it does um there's just a there's enough light coming in through the other rooms that you have room to work but this room's been largely dark up till now yeah as uh sam flicks it um you look and you briefly see that moment when um before oh sorry i should just check how i want to describe this here uh yeah just before before the light turns on in the instant you look and you just see your slightly darker shadow against the dark yeah. and you'd swear that you see another shadow right beside yours standing directly beside you and just as you notice that the light flicks on and the room's filled with light and there's no sign of any more shadows i kind of look to see where the second source of light is but i don't see anything hmm. You can see the staircase going up right beside you, and you can see yeah. the edge of the wall, but those wouldn't explain it. No. Right. Gabe and I are going to actually go to the very top attic if we find if like there's one of those little panels you have to move to get up there just in case. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Because if there's somebody hiding in here, they know their way around the place. We have to assume they can find a cranny to hide in. I've got my nail gun. 
Got your nail gun ready. Okay. Oh, they're going to just run away if we catch them. <laughs> Gabe's not so sure. him. <laughs> okay, as you guys get up to the top floor, you can see, yeah, there's the two smaller bedrooms to your to your right. You can see mm -hmm. the bathroom straight ahead, the master bedroom, the ensuite. Mm -hmm. You can still detect a little bit of that uh, kind of sulfuric kind of smell yeah. of rotten eggs kind of from the from that bathroom and uh it's it's likely that bleel's probably returned from work returned back at it now and you can see he's still kind of working around there as well um the three of you look you see no one upstairs it doesn't sound like anyone's come up i'll, I'll check in closets and stuff and see if they have any of those yeah. like little panels to get into like yeah. secondary yeah. attics i'm just sort of looking at yeah mass the ensuite has that uh walk-in closet type thing and looking in yeah you can see that little square there uh, uh, well sure. i'm a big guy so i don't think i should help be helped up gabe do you want me to help you up if you want to poke in your head in there and take a look yeah don't we have like a little step ladder or something yeah, yeah. we've got ladders okay okay yeah. i'll stick my head up then yeah i'm and, trying to uh, light up there Oh, there's going to be rats, probably. What what time is it? Of course, there's going to be rats. Uh, right now, uh, you guys are in your second hour. It's probably about eight o'clock. the The sun's gone down. It is dark now. Uh, yeah, stick your head. Yeah, I it, can, it, I can do it. these lower fixtures if you want to use the ladder. Thanks. Yeah, it's getting a bit chilly, so I'm turning on a you know little remote heaters we have. You know. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Um, Sam, you were poking your head through, or Gabe? Yeah, and I got a flashlight, and I'm just gonna look look to see if there's any people up here. And uh, glancing, and again, you you uh, you're kind of doing the the scan past, and you're and uh, yeah, you can see there's a little bit of pile there. It looks like um, it's the um, kind of asphalt um roof roof tiles and everything and and go ahead there's a little pile of those off to the side and a few other little pile of discarded or bent nails kind of thing okay. a woman's standing in the corner in her bathrobe you keep looking and you see it well well and backing you, up yeah backing you back up, up back and up. no sorry no it's all dark there's nothing else there and oh, uh, man. am i having a flashback you see okay. anything <laughs> up there i okay i I had I had one of those uh uh you know eighties moments. Uh no I didn't. I thought I saw a lady, but no. I can see Wait, the work you, of the what? people working on the roof though. They've been leaving their stuff up here. Yeah, I mean Yeah, shingles. Yeah, you do, keep it out of the there's rain, shingles right? and stuff yeah. up here, yeah. yeah no, I, I thought I saw a lady in a house robe. Did that disregard that. I mean, we're looking for a guy in boots, right? You know. So not even well, rats, did, right? Was was a lady in the robe wearing boots? Honestly, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. okay. Hello, is there anybody yeah, hiding? I up think here? maybe you need a break, Bo. I mean, yeah. you're seeing people. I think. Are I'm you just... sure those aren't your boot prints? I'm quite positive. Okay. I, I have you seen my boots, Gabe? Look how big they are. Okay. Yeah. 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 Those boots are smaller than mine, man. Okay. okay. Whoever this guy is, I could crush his toes. Not that I'd want to. Um, okay. So let's check the rest of the house. Look yeah. After a continued look, you uh yeah, you don't find anything. And and by this point, um everybody else keeps progressing at their work. But uh Gabe, you're starting to feel a little bit pressure at this point as you yeah. are you've been looking around, everybody else is kind of oh, still I moving get back ahead. To it. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, Gabe. I'll help you out when I'm done, by the way. Yeah, you just get to yeah. you get going. Uh, okay, if I feel I've done the house, I'm gonna get back to work. But it's just kind this of wood's a wreck, man. It's uh, I gotta pick through the pieces. I mean, I'm waiting on you guys to tear up the the flooring and subflooring so I could put the ducts in. I'm not I'm not doing crawl spaces. So that's a waste of time. Hmm. Well, Gabe, we'll we'll focus on you for a second as you head back out to the uh, okay. detached garage. Um, going in, you you already made some of the measurements for some of these uh, floorboards mm -hmm. um, measuring them measure twice cut once all that stuff and as you got the drop saw ready uh, the first set you go through it almost clogs the drop set as the wood is so soggy and soft it's completely unusable tossing them grabbing the next one you kind of sift through it and finding something that'll work slowly start going about your your work and at this point I'll have you roll a spot hidden I rolled it 12 and my spot hidden is 45. So that's a hard success. 
Yeah. And again, it's uh, this kind of moment where as you're sawing and you just happen to look up and you can see the pile of sawdust on the floor of the garage. And it's almost like one of those optical illusions where it might must just be the angle you're at. But is that a screaming face in the sawdust almost the way it's shaped and contoured on the floor? Yeah. Jeez, I'm getting jumpy. Bo's been uh, filling my head with this freaky stuff. And I kind uh, of poke at it with the toe of my boot. Yeah, and it just shifts and, and and moves it. And when you step back, there's there's no trace of whatever it was you were seeing. Um kind of now that the saw is off and you're listening, it sounds like you can hear uh commotion in the house, and maybe one of the other guys is yelling for you. Uh for the four of you still in the house. Um, the door is opened up, the end of the second hour has come, and you can see uh Rich is standing there. Um, he's got a clipboard in one arm and a big stack of pizza boxes under his other arm. You're a sight for store eyes, and not you, Rich, the pizza. <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard to you live up to people's standards, you know. And hey, he Rich, comes in. Yeah. Well, what the hell happened to the crew working on this place earlier? Like, where the hell are they? Uh, they had to move them on to other projects. They, uh, they did their time, but, uh, it was more important to keep them going. And we figured that we could, uh, bring in you folks to finish it off while they moved on. Oh, shit. Talk to Leo. There's like, there's problems here. I don't think it's safe to live in. Nah, it should be fine. What do you, what do you mean? It's, it's not as clean as what we were led to believe it would be in the conditions a little well, and the water's like tainted. Plus, rats. We got rats. We got squatters. Plus, who did the purchasing on this? Some of these face plates are Leviton. Some of them are Lutron. Some of them are oh. almond colored. Some of them are Navajo white. Uh, you know, CES is just under a lot of pressure. There's a lot going on right now. We're a little low on cash, so some of the items are maybe a little bit more secondhand than than they should be. But you know, just make do. Get through this, guys. It's, uh, we'll get it all cleaned up in the morning. I, I mean, the, I don't mind secondhand, but you know, it has to be up to code. It's our insurance, not not you know yours on on the line here. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't 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 worry about it. We'll we'll I mean, see. Uh, Who's who's coming? Because in my case, it's not really a, a code thing. It's just color. Uh, some of the plates aren't going to match. They're... Do we need to do a Home Depot run or something? And... You know what? Give me give me a list of what you need, and and I can uh, I can run out yeah. and let you keep no doing problem. your thing. I mean, I can grab what I need in a truck. I'm pretty much I'm almost done. I mean, yeah. And, I, and he walks around with each of you and you're able to point out some of these flaws to him and and seeing them he kind of shakes his head but he almost has a resigned attitude about it if if anyone wants I'll have you roll a psychology roll sure I don't know what psychology is no nope. uh, do I even need to check psychology of 10 I'm not burning 40 points to no nope. yes yeah. well yeah, I rolled an 85 out of 30. We're like 78 over 10. Oh, yeah. I rolled an 80 something. I think we're just two well, guys. Yeah, we're, 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 we're like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, we're just guys. We're just what? tired. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm going to use the stuff that I've got here, but I want, I don't want to get penalized for the bonus because they don't all match. Yeah. This is what can, you guys gave me. You guys are frozen. I can I can understand your reservations about this, you know. Do your thing. Why don't Why don't you stop? Have Have some uh, dinner, and uh, I've got some pops here too. Have a Have a drink and relax for a bit. And when you get back to it, I'm sure you'll feel a lot better about it. Right. Hey, uh, I mean, hey, we'll, we'll so, log it. I mean, we'll log it. This, yeah. Yeah. We'll this gym is really, no good. Yeah, no, we really got to talk about this water. Um, this is a oh. like we have to talk to the city because this is this is come this is coming in from the main oh. valve. Can't you smell it? Like, take a whiff. Yeah, there. I I guess that would be a little bit gross for some people. All right, and yeah, he seems overall less concerned about it than you guys, which strikes you as strange because it's probably he's the guy 
directly profiting from this being finished but as uh he notes down all of uh leo's concerns and then nods yeah yeah sounds good we'll we'll get that taken care of and now which one of you got hurt that's uh what's the uh, name next that's, door that's that okay. Peter gary oh, okay gotcha gary. i figured i better have a look at that and uh make sure there's uh nothing too bad there and well you guys have dinner. I'll be around for a little while, but then I'll take off a bit and let you do your thing. I'll stop at uh, Home Depot, bring you back some more matching parts, and we'll we'll go from there. Yeah, bon appetit. Thanks, man. But, I mean, um, you yeah. guys take. I mean, look, yeah, it looks crappy. Yeah. Almond and white are not the same color. You're not you're not surprised now that the smell upstairs didn't bother him because as he leaves the house, his kind of lingering body odor hangs over you all for a moment before oh. it slowly <laughs> kind of dissipates. He, he's letting go big time. I mean, what's going oh. on with him? Man, Dude, this, this is weird. Like these are like not like vanity problems. These are like actual issues that could get this site shut down. And he's just yeah. like, oh, oh yeah, we'll take care right. of it. No, I mean he's well, and, he's going. And I mean, something. Rich, I, Rich is a uh, you know he's like everybody. He's got a, a bit of a a funk about him when he's been working, but this is something. Well, this is worse than that. This like, is a, I, yeah. He hasn't bathed yeah, in a long just, time. He's just and and, and you know that that attitude right again. Yeah, you know, that's not the like city inspectors come tomorrow. We're 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 fucked. He's losing contact or something. Yeah, yeah. Here. and and this wood I'm working with is old and wet i mean really yeah you know, he usually yeah. picks good wood doesn't he, he knows what yeah what you need it's it's downright rotten actually yeah, he, he, almost... he's a wood guy yeah uh, what the heck okay well, I, i'm starting they... to get worried about cas yeah. now man i'm thinking this this it's we may like, have, you, like, have like, you, you think they're going down and they're yeah just i like, think they're going down he doesn't he's just barely holding on mentally yeah, i hope i get it i get my nope. check cash tomorrow morning yeah you know what i mean we we need to call we need to call the union rep right well, let's worry about that yeah. when something actually happens. Uh, well, yeah, you know, we'll, right. we'll, we'll log it. We'll log it. So, yeah. 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 Keep Might a list. Time to farm yeah. out you know, some other people. I'll, I'll keep a list. Let's, I'll start. We got our phones. Let's make sure we're taking yeah. pictures of everything. Right. We'll, we'll just yeah. record, uh, put put it all, um, you know, on online or something or on the cloud. Okay. But, so, j- just so you guys, like, uh, you know, I'm sure we've all worked sites where, you know, we've yeah, seen stuff. things like, this is kind of feeling like one of those partly kind of covering one of those jobs. Yeah. yeah, like one of one of those. Like, yeah. give me a give me a luck roll, everyone. <laughs> Come on, 50 50. 33. Barely. Oh, five. All right. Made it. Okay. Who, who's yeah. the 05? Regular success. Regular success. Okay. In that case, uh Joey, your cell phone rings at this moment. Nope. Oh. All right. Sorry, guys. Yeah. No worries. Uh, oh. when you wait, as you answer, you you see the name and it's right. someone you recognize. Oh, uh, right. who, who's calling you? Uh, apparently, my my daughter's calling me. I guess uh, she needs uh, Mrs. Her dad. All right. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Hey, dad. How are you? Oh, you know, just uh, just putting in some late hours. How's uh, how, how how's the tooth? Is it still hurting? It's still sore, but I've okay. been. Mom's let me have some ice cream, and that seems oh. to be helping. Well, That's... you know what. Uh, it, it, it'll, it'll be all right you know what once uh once we get the shop done we'll get you uh we'll get you the best braces again no one will know you're wearing braces you'll be fine none of the kids oh. will tease you it'll, it'll oh. be perfect i hope not you should see what they do say to jenny at school it's awful you know what you're beautiful you know you're beautiful i know you're beautiful that's all that counts oh dad thank you i love you you're coming home soon right yeah coming home as soon as i can love okay well uh, mom says it's Time to say good night. Good night. Yeah, give your mom a kiss for me. You will do. Yep. And uh, mm-hmm. she hangs up. All right. What sorry about that, boys. Uh, but the, what the, kind of know, pizza you know did he bring us? Wait, anchovies? What the hell? Pineapple yeah. and pepperoni. Oh God. <laughs> Wait, who's asking for veggie delight? Hand me, hand me the anchovy. That sounds right. good. There you go. All right. We'll give you a little side pile if you can eat separately. <laughs> Stack them up. 
Yeah, and as, as you all dive in and open up the the pizza boxes and start uh, grabbing, um, I'm going to have everyone roll a power check. Oh what, boy! What, what could go wrong here? Damn, Here's my worst stat. Really good so here we right? go. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> Wait, what 39. is this grocery store soda pop? How am I doing? Oh, failed. Wow. Ooh, I pass. Would, though, because power was. Ooh, enough. pass. Oof. Oh, just barely failed. I failed terribly. Can you guys spend <laughs> luck on attributes? I forget. Uh, yes, you can spin luck on this one. Do I want to? Nope. But failing <laughs> sounds oh. more fun. Yeah, let's see what failure <laughs> is. Okay. Um, how about Leo and Joey? Pass. Pass. 49 over a 60, so we're good. Okay. Uh, well, Gabe, Evan, and and Bo are all stack up your your you little paper plates you supplied, and you and you're eating. Um, Leo and Joey, the two of you, get the faintest whiff of something wrong from the pizza as you're kind of about to eat, and it's perhaps when it first touches your yeah. tongue or first touches your mouth. There's something funny about it. That's like, that, is it like bad cheese? What the hell? Are you t- are you guys tasting this? That's not, that's not Gouda. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll take, I'll look at it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you telling me there's something wrong with this? Well, I, I don't think I've said anything right. yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, yeah you, you, I'm you, just looking at it funny. Yeah. But you had a first bite already and everything seemed to taste fine. So you're probably mm, already okay. about halfway done your first slice. And yep. uh, Evan and Gabe are, are munching in. Are you guys having any of the pops that he supplied as well? No reason. Um, like well, no, I'm still going to be sure. drinking my coffee. That's yeah, I wish she today. brought us. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to grab she... it. I, I assume it's grocery store brand, knowing Rich, but yeah, uh, I want to. I want a, a root beer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You pull off a root beer off it and start drinking it, and washes washes that pizza down. How about you? How about you, Evan? Well, I wish you'd have brought real beer, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I drink a Coke. Yeah, sounds good. Then, so three of you are drinking. You can see the other two have kind of stopped, and um, Leo and Joey have kind of spit back out what they what they into a napkin or something, and what they've taken. Um, like the pizza, Joey, you you t- and you see that pizza sauce underneath the cheese is all like a carpet. It's connected, kind of. It's like a solid mass under it, and and there's something kind of funny and green about the cheese. This does not look like fresh pizza at all uh leo you're seeing the same thing and and as you look at one of those anchovies you 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 see the shape of the fish and there's something kind of oozing off of it into the cheese oh. um i pull back some of the uh i, I kind of peel some of the fish apart do i see like do i notice any like i mean i'm not a doctor but does it look rotten it looks rotten it is disgusting so i was just slam it down like what the hell is this What's going on? What are you talking fucking about? Rotten, man. What are you talking the... about? Hey, yeah, well, those anchovies. Tastes okay. What are you yeah. talking about? Uh, it's fine, man. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the cheese is weird, but is the, the, the pizza anchovies? Hot. What's going on with you guys? As as you guys are saying this, you can see uh, Bo is standing there, and he's got the the sauce all over his yeah. beard and his face, and and it just looks caked on. And uh, yeah, all all three of the other three, and uh, I'm gonna three... take pictures of the food or or like the, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> Start What's up? Pictures. What's going on, guys? Dude, look, look at look this. At this. I'll, I'll like bring it over to him and show yeah. him the rotten fish. I'm showing him the foam. Like, look at this shit. Okay, uh, sorry. I I'll look at my pizza. And I'm just kind of like. If it came, yeah. if they came from the same box, I'm throwing mine down. Yeah, you toss it down. Holy right shit! Away and, oh, okay. I, I look far. at. I don't want to get food at sickness now. I gotta I, work. I look at what Leo I'm going in the back and barf, making myself barf into the mud. Fuck this! I'm gonna take uh, a big swig of coke and and then spit it. In the what, what was that? Dude? Uh, what were you saying? I'm looking at what Leo's showing me. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. As, as they're pointing it out, you you're starting to see what they're talking about, and oh, it almost uh, you almost feel a wave of exhaustion or disorientation pass over you before you start looking back at what remains of what you're eating. And yeah, is that a little oh, maggot wiggling at like the edge? The, oh my gosh! Bitch. Wait, there's something moving. What in the yours. hell, Dan? You son of a bitch! We're gonna. I'm gonna. Did he buy like the cheapest and... pizza he could find? What the hell? No, so, 
Yeah, so I, no I'm, one could I'm sell assuming, that legally. I, I'm assuming we've made a group decision not to eat this fucking pizza. So no, I'm, I'm, take take, a, I'm, I'm like recording all the. I'm going to take a putty knife. Right. And I'm just going to peel back the cheese on the anchovy uh, pizza. And, and I'm filming oh, it God. while this is happening. And uh, yes, I'm as go you, yeah. get fucking Dan and. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Rich, sorry, yeah. you mean. Yeah, Dan's, 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 Dan's sorry, the plumber. Sorry, yeah, yeah, no, all good. Um, Leo, you pull pull the chi, and, and as you, Joey, you're leaning over him uh, recording, yeah. and you can see all these little maggots wriggling underneath the cheese as you do uh, it. I'm going to uh, make sure I, like I get protein, to dry but not that much. Yeah. I got to empty my stomach. I'm not, oh, I'm not this is you, you have You do this, you hear the front door open and slam as Evan steps out. And um, Evan, uh, standing in front of the house, you can see Rich is now exiting from the next door house and heading, or sorry, he's already left. And uh, you can actually see him. His truck is still sitting there in front of the property. And it looks like he's sitting in there. You can't really tell much more. It's, it's quite dark by now. He's got the cab light on in his truck, and it seems to be just be sitting there for the moment i'm i'm gonna go over and i'm gonna open up the door and i'm gonna pull them out of the truck <laughs> okay <laughs> sounds good i'm like what the fuck's up that's this pizza is is rotten so as you do that i'm gonna have you give me a spot hidden uh, 36 where is my spot hidden uh <laughs> I'll spend the one point to make it. All right, there you go. And yeah, you have this rock sitting in your stomach and and uh, the blood is almost kind of pounding in your ears as you're doing this. But you have the brief glimpse of, uh, as you're opening up the door, of him kind of hunched over in the front. And he seems to be looking at some little small diary or little uh, black covered book that uh, he kind of reacts with shock as you open the door and grab him and pull him out. I'm like dragging him back to the Look. the house and say, "You son of a bitch! You gave us rotten pizza." What? No way! No. I I just picked that up for a while while you guys were working. Yeah, I'm gonna make uh, you eat some of it. It's it's literally got bugs in it. I got I got receipts here. I got, and he's looking through his pockets and and okay, okay. I don't have receipts here, but let me look at it. I this can't be. So I pull him inside. Is that pizza oh. sitting in your truck for weeks? What the fuck? No, I just Wait, picked did, it up now down the street. Did you also like give it to the other guys? I'm gonna go oh, over to the fuck. other yeah, house. Yeah, tell them not to eat it. Yeah, oh, and just start. Okay, uh, Joey, you're banging on the door of the neighbor, yeah. and after a second, you see uh, Dan open the door. He's got his big earphones on, and you yeah. can hear the loud metal right. cords shredding from it. And uh, hey, he... Dan. And he pulls him off. So, did uh, did did Rich also like bring you guys like rotten pizza, like bullshit maggot pizza? What he brought us Dude, pizza? Look at this, and I just show him the the video. The fuck, and that uh, guy, like, oh god. Gary took a piece and and been in the washroom since he. He took it and <laughs> oh man, the pizza must have given him laxatives or something <laughs> or diarrhea. Damn pizza, yeah, pizza. And uh, you can see Dina and Sammy in there, and Dina's kind of looking at hers, and, and Sammy's already yeah. made the decision to leave it. Um, Ben, the sheet metal guy, has kind of wrapped his up and and like, oh, this is bullshit. What the fuck? I know what the fuck, right? We are, getting... I, I'm ordering Domino's. Donald's. Are you better than this crowd? I, I can oh. do a Taco Bell run. I don't think I'm going to be able to eat for a while. I, I don't oh, think we need shit. more runs, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Sorry, Taco Bell. Please stop. I, I don't, from, Rich, yeah. are I you don't trying to it. get us to never work for you again, Rich? Is that your plan? Honestly, no, you guys. I, I don't understand it. I, yeah. Uh, make an make an order. I'll re save the receipt. I'll reimburse you. We'll make sure it's taken care of. I want to. No, we want cash right. in hand. Yeah, I mean, dude, we trust you. Wood. We trust you before, and you gave us you gave us it's rotten pizza. We all want of cash our time. in hand. You gave us rotten wood, rotten pizza. You know things that don't match. What like and is the company going down? 
like are no, you just no, no, a no, no. Everything, everything's fine. Everything's, everything's good. And he's pulled out his wallet, and it's just threadbare. You can see as he's doing this, his fingernails are yellowed and broken. And he opens it up and is flipping through it, and and finally pulls out a uh, couple fifty dollar bills and passes them to Evan. So that should cover everything. My apologies. See, uh, CAS uh, thanks you all for your work here tonight. Is a couple more hours and you'll be done, and and everything will be good. <clears throat> What, what right time now? would it be now? It's probably about nine feet, or yeah, maybe maybe just around nine o'clock. All right, Taco Bell may be There's... the only option at this point. All right, well, no, yeah, let's we get this shit out of the get way. Another pizza until eleven, but uh, not from this, not from Domino's. And let's just work. Let's just get this shit done. Yeah, yeah let's get it done, yeah. and we'll eat tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I, I don't I'm think I want to. One that. more look at, at um. Rich's car, do I see like like old pop cans and stuff like that? Does it look like he's been living in his car or no, not yeah. quite. It's uh, it's definitely in rough shape though, and it's it's uh, about as gross as he is. So you can you see it badly needs a wash. There there does right. seem to be some garbage bags in the back of the truck that have been there's no like there for flies a while. flying around him. No, <laughs> you know why it maybe you hear a slight buzzing as you get close to it, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call his his head office. I want to yeah. see if the answering machine kicks in or if it says the mailbox is full. Yeah, you get the mailbox usually, is full for sure. He usually yeah. he usually keeps it empty. I'm going like, yeah, no, he's not. He's not. He's yeah. not dealing with his shit. And uh, as as the the group of you are slowly moving back out, um, Evan, you're still at the neighbor's house there. Or sorry, no, that was Joey went to the neighbor's house. You are um, just getting ready to come back out, and you can see Dan is just knocking at the bathroom door, saying, "Gary, are you okay in there?" Um, don't eat the pizza, man. There's something fucking wrong with it. Just just toss it. There, there's a new pizza coming. Don't worry about it. And you hear the muffled voice of Gary. Yeah, no worries. Just just give me a couple minutes. And poor guy. First getting cut, you know, and then now, you know, diarrhea from yeah. pizza. That's rough. Mm. Dan whispers to you, yeah, I'd feel sorry for you for him if he wasn't an asshole. I know, right? And I elbow Dan and just laugh <laughs> and walk away. And uh, the five of you find yourselves back in the house with no dinner to eat and um, work yet to be done. Well, we I don't, don't know if we're going to get paid, guys. I'm starting to get really sus about this. I know. Yeah. Right? That you called the head I'm... office? Or... Yeah, I know. He hasn't it's, He hasn't dealt with his phone messages. I'm not so up. sure that, that Rich didn't do that on purpose. No, man, he's he's deteriorated mentally or something's going on. I think he had the pizza yeah, in the truck you, for two how weeks. You, how does it get like that? All right. How do you get pizza right. that's rotten? Okay, so he is trying he is trying to get us to quit. He's trying to like, get us to like just break on because him. Because it's not one pizza, it's like boxes of Yeah, bad he doesn't pizza. want to pay us. He's just trying to get us to do half the work for free. I'm getting back to work, guys. I got too much. To but do. you're not going to get paid. No. This is almost ridiculous. I don't think he's going to pay us. I mean, if he doesn't, then the union will take care of it. And I think at this point, I'm going to steal his tires off his truck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe sure, yeah. they're, they're probably rotten. <laughs> Gabe holds up the knife, the, the nail gun again. I know where he lives. Uh, yes, the five of you are debating what action to take next. It um, keep working on the job or call it a night and start alerting authorities. No, yeah, we'll just we gotta get the work done. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of need that need need that money for the for the braces. Yeah, it's it's uh, paycheck to paycheck. Uh, it's all and getting this paycheck bonus paycheck. means a lot to me. I mean, yeah. in, in this economy too. Jeez. Yeah. My supply costs have gone right. through the roof. Let's just deal with whatever filth that we come across as we go. All right. All right. Um, Bag at it. Coffee. Don't you know? All right. Bye. You know, last if, donut probably. Yeah. If if we get hungry in the next couple of hours, I think that Taco Bell and McDonald's stay open mm -hmm. twenty four hours. We can yeah. get something. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. In that case. Um, we're going to go to Leo first as you head back upstairs, still uh, working on a few now into that main washroom upstairs. Um, is there anyone else who'd be working upstairs? Um, Evan, your choice if you'd be working up there at this point. Yeah, I'm probably putting in the the 
uh, baseboard uh, plug covers and all of okay. that. Yeah, sounds good. I'm trying to make um, them at least match in a room. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, Joey, are we sending you back down to the basement? I figure I, I should probably be pretty much done, you know, that Your part host? of the basement, given okay. all the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm probably okay, so. now on the, you know, main floor, um, you know, putting in the ductwork now that the nice. foreign guys have, yep. you know, started Working digging things up, the subfloors, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. And um, how about Sam? Well, I might be helping Gabe catch up if he's had a bit of a fallback or something. I could use the help. Thanks yeah, help him okay. help him pick yes. better wood or trim stuff down so we got something usable. Okay, yeah. Sam, you're doing some measurements. Gabe, you're headed out to cut to cut some more wood, maybe bring it in. Yeah. Um in that case, um let's start with Evan and Leo upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, so Evan, um, make sure you put some uh, GFCI sockets in the bathroom. We don't want people getting electrocuted. Well, yeah, they've already been installed. I just need to cover them up. All right, cool. Yeah, that's standard practice now anywhere there's water. But it doesn't look like they... Uh, he must have cheaped out because this doesn't look like semi-gloss in here. And the bathrooms are supposed to be semi-gloss. You know, if the, there the was paint, a shortcut, work. you're realizing if there was a shortcut, he took it, or, or the company did. Or... Yeah. So these walls are going to eventually start to mold, um, unless somebody goes over with semi gloss later. Uh, I'm not doing it. I'm not painting. I'm not doing that shit. No. As the two of you are talking at the top of the stairs, the the main bathroom is right across from you, and you hear the sound. There's almost a imperceptible shake of the toilet in that room, and the sound of almost a loud bubble popping. Holy crap! Oh, here we go again. So, um, gas I, uh, lines. Whole, it, it just occurred to me that that could that is what it. So I. When he says that, I run over to the toilet and immediately start turning off the leads to the toilet. Okay, and as you do, you hear that gurgle of water underneath and a loud bubble again, and you crank it and, and turn off the water to it, and then you hear what almost sounds like a wheeze coming from the toilet. You, ha you have a terrible feeling of what might be under that lid. Um, But... I have some of this old pipe that I removed, so I'm going to I'm going to uh, lift it up ever so gently, uh, hopefully. And it is it appears to be just a sea of gray goo inside of it. Yeah, Evan, look at this. this is the shit I'm talking about. Look at this. It looks like oh, fuck. You know, when I was a kid, they used to occasionally like down the street. They, you know, blow out the toilet. They blow out the sewer to clear it, and uh, our our bathroom would explode. I mean, all the water would come flying out of the toilet uh, when they did it. And then they deny doing it. This this smells like this is sewer water. And as you look back to it, Leo, from talking to Evan, you see another little, a smaller bubble in it, and almost that swish as ripples of something moving in there so i kind of jump back and i'm like what the what the hell is that and, oh, and doing that is enough that the lid of the toilet slams down back over it rat or a snake or something i look over at the the um the shower is there a shower a tub? uh yeah that one is it's kind of like a combined bath shower in that yeah because usually if it backs up in the toilet it's going to back up into the the tub don't they share a drain yeah, and now that you think about it, it's possible you do hear some gurgling coming from there. Oh, dude, dude. Glad I'm not you. <laughs> As you step out and close the door behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. That. So I like sigh and roll my eyes, and I'm just like, I'll go get my Tyvex, and I'll just walk is... out the room defeated. <laughs> oh, no. And this is fucking upstairs. 
That's uh, yeah, it's only going to get worse. And um, as this, as you smelled that smell, Evan, that um, it, it's disgusting, and and you feel what's whatever trace is left of that uh, pizza in you, just recoiling at at the reintroduction of of this grossness. Um, Leo disappears downstairs, and as you turn back to the room, the bedroom that you're working in. You almost have to stop and squint for a second because the rooms were painted a very, everything's very bland, acceptable, yeah. like whites and beiges and, and yeah. stuff. But this room was done with wallpaper and there's not very many new homes that get put in with wallpaper. And you yeah. think you can see little flower designs. And as you step into the room, you flick the switch, light doesn't come on. So you're standing in this darkened room looking and you can see there's large rents in the wallpaper and you can see it's almost frayed on the wall. And I'm going to have you roll a spot hidden check at this point. The hell? Oh, 19. Yeah, that's damn. Spot hidden is, uh, well, it's just a regular. So Okay. Well, that is enough. Um, so you discover there is a small, what looks like kind of just random debris spread across the floor. But at your foot, you can see a small ripped out piece of paper. Oh, it says, down the small stack of books and moved to the front foyer. To my surprise, when I opened the door, I saw it was none other than my old comrade, Athalia Green. I welcomed her in, of course, and took her through the house. It was only after I introduced her to Marlene and the children, I realized she was here on business, the business of the bad old days I'd left behind. Marlene told me later how she felt unnerved by Athalia. She'd always had that effect on most, that inner intensity. Marlene even asked if this meant that things were happening again. She wanted to know what it was we talked about in the office for so... That seems uh, to be where it cut off. Is this some sort of story that was written or it's not a printed book it's all hand no it's it's handwritten it, it it looks almost like a journal how bizarre uh it's garbage i'll crumple yeah. it up and throw it down and as you throw it down you see a cockroach move out of the way as it hits yuck okay um I'll I'll walk out of the room and close yeah. the door. Well, swing the door sort of closed behind me. Uh, guys, as there's you, something really weird and wrong up here. And as as you're yelling that and closing the door, you see another whole piece of the um, the wallpaper kind of tear off and and hit the floor as multiple, probably about a dozen different cockroaches spread in different directions across the wall. Holy shit, guys. The, whoever did the paint job just painted over the old wallpaper. Wait, there shouldn't be any old wallpaper. I, I'm I'm heading up as I hear uh, this commotion happening. Yeah. Wait, wait, what, what are you talking about? There's roaches. There's... <laughs> I mean, look at this, and I'll swing the door back open right. and say, look. Yeah. Peek my head in. Joey, as you get to the top of the stairs, your foot nudges a teddy bear that's just right nestled between the top, kind of. And before it seemed to be like a, a full wood staircase leading up, yep. you can see now that it's more kind of spindly rails going up. And it had to have been that the way. Maybe it was different in one of the other houses you worked on. But as you do, you accidentally kick this teddy bear and it hangs there. You can see the edge of its foot is kind of stuck in, in some kind of gray puddle or something. And, and then it dislodges and falls down. And usually when a child stuffed animal falls from any height, it kind of, kind of has a certain fall and hits. Not this. This just rockets down and hits the floor with a sickening splat down on the ground floor. Rap is is there anyone else um down on the ground floor or is it 
Who else? Is uh, yeah. <clears throat> Leo is is down there. He's just coming back in with his his equipment. Um, and uh, Gabe and Sam don't seem to be in sight. We'll get to them in a second here. I, I'm going to go and yell, hey, yo, Leo, ch like, check out what the hell that is. And I point towards uh, the splatted teddy bear. <laughs> Leo looks very ready for this. <laughs> I I also think that at this point, this has become so weird that I throw my arms around Joey and uh, almost jump uh, up. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Leo. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You guys are great. I love it. <laughs> Leo, you're standing at the bottom of the stairs and you can see this teddy bear and you can see it's slowly almost deflating onto the floor as a dark uh, grayish black uh, ooze kind of spreads from it. Like you think there's mold? Oh, there's mold. I think there's, oh, yeah. there's demonic possession or something going on here. Well, I mean... It's just molding this house is no it's breaking. no it's not it's demonic not possession it's a code violation and yeah. it's just like that's worse you could get fined for it as as there as the you guys are talking leo's at the bottom of the stairs you and joy are at the top of the stairs um from the hallway to your left uh you see a boy wearing a house coat walking towards you his eyes are reddened he seems to be um blinking a lot he, he's about half your height and, and looks almost as though he's shivering um you're so focused on him that you don't even realize at first that there is no hallway there there's no room for a hallway up here um but he comes close to you and stares directly up at you i've probably grabbed a hold of joey's wrist yeah. do, do, do i see any of this or do i ah uh, yeah you you see him as well wait huh, the, the, uh, the, uh, have, have you uh, seen, hello have you seen my my dad Oh, hello. And then I sort of like kneel down towards the shovel. Huh. Hello there. What's your name? I'm running past him and down the stairs. <laughs> As you were turning down the stairs. Like my uh, paternal the, instincts kicked in. Yeah, hello. The, your paternal instincts kick in. And this hello boy there. is struggling to talk. You can see his nose is red. Yeah. There's two lines of snot running down into it's his okay. mouth. Take, take your time. And, if I have a napkin, I'll give him a napkin. I and just did, yeah. a second too late, you re you recognize these great big huffs of air for what they are, and that is when he sneezes, and oh, you oh. are covered. I'm oh. going to have you make a constitution roll. Oh, shit. I'm on. And I'm doing uh, a sanity roll. Uh, I okay. got a 73. Let's see what my con is. Come on, big boy. Oh, 55? No, not, not burning that. All right, so... Fail. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I I did pass. I got a sixty two yeah. out of sixty five, but I barely passed. Yeah. You barely held on. This is weird shit. Let's go from at this point. Let's rewind back a little bit to Gabe and Sam working out, uh, getting working on the wood and and finishing up, helping Gabe catch up. Um, Sam, you've grabbed some some wood and are you helping to get some mm -hmm. measurements and everything's working um gabe you're just headed back to the garage you, you've got to uh cut a little bit more and you open the back door of the house and step into the garage the second that door closes behind you you feel someone forcibly from behind you pull a bag down over your face every it's almost partially clear and and you can just see a vague outline of the work of the the garage turned workshop around you as uh, someone is fiercely holding this down around your head and um yeah as you begin uh you're you're choking i'm gonna have you quick roll a sanity check before we resolve sure. you i succeeded on my sanity regular success okay you'll take one sanity um but you are considered to be in combat as there is an asylum behind you you can't breathe you can't quite see or smell anything there well if you smell anything it's just kind of a dull plasticky kind of rot as this thing is interrupting your airwaves i'm gonna try and drop and roll so that whoever's behind me has to yeah. let go absolutely so you know what i'm gonna have you roll a dodge roll for that
<laughs> my dodge is 22 and I rolled a 21. Nice. Okay. <laughs> you pull on the floor and you hear a grunt from behind you. And, and as that, as that one, whoever your silent is, your attacker is falls underneath you and is, is still holding and, and fighting to hold that on. Now you're lying on the back. Yes. You've knocked one of the sawhorses over and you can feel uh, some of your tools nearby within grasp. Um, kind of frantically fighting. Yeah. And I'm going to grab like a tool the, and, and the handsaw, him. there's the drill, there's the there's a screwdriver. What are you grabbing? Screwdriver. Okay, yeah, it's a great pokey there. pokey tool. <laughs> Back in the house, Sam. Um, yep. you mm -hmm. saw Gabe step out of the house and go into the garage, but as the door closes, you go back to what you're looking at, and then you have that split sec realization that isn't the garage detached? There's like a 20 foot walk between here and the garage, and you just saw literally right past him into the garage. Okay, I'll look again because I like. Yeah, the door's closed now, but uh, you could swear oh. that you just heard a crash from in there. Okay, I'm going to go open it because I'm just trying to okay. verify if I'm going mad or not. So you open the door to find Gabe lying on the floor within. He's frantically fighting. His eyes are clenched shut. Um, every tendon in his body is stretched to its limit. And you can see he's thrashing and he's reached out and grabbed a screwdriver and is slowly steering it, guiding it towards his face. Okay, I'm going to try to find some interpose between his face and the screwdriver. Maybe this wood I'm holding, I'm just going to take, Gabe, slow, what are you doing, man? He, help, he's having an epileptic seizure. Help, fuck, no, arms Gabe, down, don't. You can feel your attacker has climbed onto you and is, is trying to force the screwdriver towards them. But if you want, you could try to push it towards them instead. Oh, for sure. <laughs> So I'm going to have you um, roll a brawl check. <clears throat> and Sam, uh, you are, you're trying to, you're doing your best. So I think I'd rather have you do a brawl check rather than uh, a dodge. But I will okay. have you both. <clears throat> right. So was he trying to stab himself? Because I thought yeah, he was trying to yeah, keep it, it away like it from was, himself. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Was... I got an extreme success. I failed my brawl check. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. God damn it. Okay. Um, so does this Sam, mean he stabs himself? Like, what's going sorry, on? Sorry, Bo. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid he, he stabs Sam as as it as it pushes. It's that you you're now fighting over, and he starts to turn it towards and 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 um, yeah. I'm gonna have you uh, roll one d four your damage plus plus damage bonus. One d four. Yeah. That's probably maybe one d three. That's probably a d three. Sorry, Sam. Uh, so that's a three, and then my damage bonus oh, no. is a d4. Six. Whoa. Six total. Now, is it, is it uh, past half or at half that I have to make a check? I think it's past half. That okay. That's half that's, rate on the dot? That uh, is half Sorry, rate. Sorry, Okay, well, I'm just letting go screen. What okay. the fuck? So he gets you in the arm with it. Yeah. And um, as you shriek, Gabe, you open your eyes and you can feel there's no one holding you. You're, Sam's lying on top of you and it looks as though you've stabbed him with a screwdriver. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? You were trying to... Shithead, you were trying to you stab put, yourself. You put a plastic you bag over my me. head. What'd you I do with that not. bag? You were having a fucking seizure. No way, man. And then it's like, when I tried to help was, you and you stabbed me in the arm. They were suffocating me. That wasn't what? you? You were, no, Where's you were sitting bag, on man? the ground trying to hit yourself with the, with this, with, with the thing you just stuck in me. What fucking What is Christ. wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Do you have seizures? You even What the hell? Okay, I got to get this thing clean before I get. When was my last tetanus shot? And Jesus Sam, Christ, I'm, man. I'm looking around for somebody else in case there's somebody else there. Okay, There's no one what? else in the garage, and what's worse, there's no garage door. The only way out seems to be the door behind you that leads to the house. There, the, the large door to bring a vehicle in, seems there's just a blank wall there now. Is the wood there? Is the saw there? Yep, everything else is still there. All your equipment is there. Oh. Sam's kind of bled on I'm, you and on himself. Man, man, yeah, yeah. I'm getting. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck's going on. No, no, that's fine. That's just uh, fucked up. I don't trust the water in this place. Christ, I'm gonna 
going to clean my wound out with coffee for fuck's sake. <laughs> Sam, as, as you go to do that, um, your eye catches a quick glimpse of the screwdriver that he stabbed you with, and your kind of stomach drops as you see the rust and mold kind of stuck along the uh, bar fuck. of it. I'm, I'm, I gotta go, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital, man. This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. I don't know. Man, I'm sorry. I don't no. know what the hell. Somebody attacked me. I swear to God. And no, I, you were having a seizure. I could see it. You, you were probably tripping balls or something. I don't know what was going on. But what? Don't worry about it, man. Yeah, I could see something was going me. wrong. Yeah, I know. That's why you wouldn't just attack me like that. It's just I'm gonna see if like like you know I gotta I gotta do rag. I'm I'm gonna wrap his arm up and see if well, I can do a little gonna, first aid stuff yeah. the bleeding. Yeah, as, as you I'll do, use yeah. coke if I have to. I don't know. You That's you a... quickly do rummage through kind of your tools in there, and you're not expecting to find it. You can see that most of your these are your tools. You can't take take care of them, obviously, but you can see there's a surprising amount of rust and 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 damage to them as as they've been sitting Gabe, there. You, Gabe, you... I'm going to get a first aid kit out of the van. Just just don't worry about it. We're not going to touch this crap. We don't know what. Yeah. We don't even know what it what's been here. What, I, what what in the hell is going on? There's no garage door now and look at my tools. And nestled in and just kind of on the edge of it, you can see there's another ripped up piece of paper. What? There's some piece of paper here, Sam. No, I'm I'm going to get the first aid kit. I'm not going to use anything in this filthy written place. It says, uh, it says, the truth of the matter was, yes, for the first time in over 10 years, Athalia, what, yeah. what a fucking strange name, had come across the cult once more, and worse, they were practically under my nose. She'd come to enlist me, and as Hoffer and Billings were gone now, it seemed to be the two of us, Althea's Gifts and gifts is in quotes, man. Scare quotes. I don't like that. Mm. And my ac acu acumen with mm -hmm. the rifle would have to see us through. Marlene had always done her best to understand the work we did, but we'd never told the kids. How could I shatter their world with this dark knowledge of uh, beings beyond our comprehension? An ability to understand what the fuck is this? The evil, the cruelty, and ambition that ran through their cults and of the eldritch god they oh, what? I flip it over, look at the backside. Uh, you, the backside is just a sludge of, of ink that's been just straight and nothing legible on it. What what in the what is this? Place, Someone's man? doing their, their English assignment stuff or something. I'm terrible right no i mean this looks like really old paper i thought this is this was a new place and how okay. do you explain that there's no garage door and what happened yeah okay tools? this is messed up this is really messed up um let's get back into the let's get back no i gotta go to the van and get the first aid kit and then we're gonna we're gonna get the guys and figure out what's going on here uh, well i think i think we brought one in after we heard about what happened oh, okay yeah i'll find the first aid kit if we if they brought one in i'll just yeah i'll go with you man i'll uh, it's my fault i'm sorry as the two of you step back into the house you can see evan and leo standing at the bottom of the stairs evan has just uh rushed down the stairs um he seems to be trying to explain something to leo as the two of them look up you hear the sound of a loud sneeze come from upstairs <laughs> Uh, a a boy. Uh, but what? The it, squatter? Uh, Did you find the squatter? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's uh, uh, something's fucked up here. Something evil. Yeah. No, something, something, is something really. Up. The the upstairs isn't the same as it was earlier. The back the garage isn't, isn't either. Evan, when Nothing's you look the at same. these two coming in, you can see that uh, they both have blood all over their overalls and work clothes. Oh my God, what ha what happened to you? I, it's an it's accident. Going. Where's the first aid kit? I got This is this is uh, this is a nasty cut here. Uh, right I I gave my first aid kit to the guy next door. Okay, fuck. I gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna head out to the van and get mine then. This is I, okay. I, this is a nasty wound. It's like almost half my hit points. I mean, and, and and I I think you're right. It's evil, Ash. I mean, I read. I found some my like my tools are all rusty and stuff and and i found this piece of paper talking about 
evil cults and yeah. I, I found one Eldritch of those too, like, like from an old journal. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Sam, I didn't understand it. Sam, you open the front door and, and take a half step foot be through it before you realize you're not stepping outside. You're stepping into another hallway. You can uh, see, you hear as your foot hits the carpet, there is a squish of water underneath it. And you can see you're in a water drenched hallway that leads directly ahead of you with rooms branching off to the sides. Okay, well, my brain explodes. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, roll that sanity. <laughs> How the so hell do this... I make that? <laughs> what do I lose if I make it? <laughs> if you make it, we're going to give you a D4. Okay, that seems reasonable because that's still kind of a brain buster. Yeah, absolutely. Two. I think I must just be too pissed off at being cut up. <laughs> I must be. Yeah, this is not the the layout that you were expecting, and and yeah, you can see even the walls are are painted a kind of a light green. Yeah, oh my! They look rotten and decayed. Okay, this is some crazy poltergeist shit going on, guys. We are. Did we eat something? Are we? No, I've never had a hallucination like this. This is fucking insane. I, uh, guys, yeah, step back in. Leo and Evan, you are both close by to him. Uh, you're just footsteps away from him as as uh, as, as Bo backs into the into the front floor look so do we see so we see the the that the the yeah. front is gone yeah so this just happened because i just went out and got some stuff and came back and was fine yeah oh shit. uh so at first i'm like i'll, I'll try to like rationalize like well maybe we just got turned around or yeah no uh there's nothing to rationalize here <laughs> this is just nuts <laughs> Leo, as you're trying to space this all out in your head, you go up and and if you're not mistaken, that front window is a lot smaller than it was before, but you kind of look out it to see it should go parallel to where the door is going out. And looking out the window, you see instead you're looking into another room and you see you're almost face to face with Dan, the plumber next door. And uh, Dan is looking up to you like that and he kind of goes like that. Alex and yeah, kind of smiles and he's got his headphones on and doesn't seem to react to you at all. And you realize it, um, even though there's maybe a four foot space in between the two houses, you're looking directly into the bathroom of the house beside you. And um, staring directly at Dan, he doesn't seem to see you. He must be looking at a mirror, you'd assume. He goes back under the sink and you can see his knees sticking out and his legs reaching into the thing. And he's working away. And you see a dark shadow kind of pass over the door. And you see Gary walk towards it and come into sight where the door opens into the rest of the house. And you can see that the whole arm is just a pulsing grayish purple mass. So I'll start holding, banging. Yeah, you start banging, and you can see he's holding a pretty heavy and rather bloody-looking mallet in his hand. And uh, an a look of utter disorientation, or uh, he looks totally out of it as he takes a step towards um, towards where Dan's lying underneath the sink, and you... you can see just by by Dan's motions, it's he's music's playing or whatever, and he doesn't notice. And you can see uh, Gary beginning to raise up that mallet. Can, can I like can, can I like take my monkey wrench and try to break the glass in front of me? Yeah, absolutely. Roll a uh, brawl for me. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that is a hard. A hard? Yes, the uh, what appears even now in this room to be a mirror breaks into a thousand pieces in front of you. It shatters. Pieces of glass fly everywhere. There is a rather dented uh, piece of wall behind where the mirror was. There seems to be no more front window looking out into the yard anymore. And uh, the last glimpse you have of that bathroom room is Gary bringing the mallet down. Should I be rolling a sanity? Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. Give me a sanity. That is a fail. 
Okay. 27 over 60. I'm going to have you give me a D10 for that one. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is. Yeah, that is pretty crazy, though, man. <laughs> that is, I lose eight. Oh. Oh. And oh. How, how does that look against your total? Uh, so that pits me at 52. Red miss, red miss, red miss. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that pits me at 52. Um, I'm not insane. Um, yeah. But should I be rolling an intelligence, I guess? Yeah, I think we'll have you roll an intelligence check. I failed that. Oh, that's Okay, good. that's a good thing. So I think in this case, there's no temporary madness, right? Correct, but he does yeah. lose the points. Yeah, he yeah. does lose the points. But um, yeah, you are utterly shaken as you see this. And, and looking down at the glass, you see only a thousand different reflections of your own stunned face looking back at you. What, what the so hell's turn going around, on in here? So I'll turn around and I'm like shaking and I'm just like, I think Dan's dead. There's 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 something really evil Wait, going on here. Where'd the so window go? Dan was the one who had the purple arm, and he just hit oh, who? Gary was the one who'd hurt us him himself, and then uh, oh, Gary hit pizza. Dan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. With so yeah, Dan's dead. Gary, Gary just caved his head in. Man, I tried to stop it. I think. Are, Did, are you sure? I mean, because. Like I was getting attacked, and I was sure I was getting attacked. Did, but did somebody put LSD or something in our in our Coke, or those pizzas? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I mean that's possible. I think Rich is fucked enough on the head; he might have done this to us. I, I don't care what it is. I we get we need to figure out what happened with Dan because, you know, I haven't seen many people bludgeoned to death, but I'm pretty sure I saw his. his does his skull okay. crack? Do they, these houses share a common wall? Nope. Yeah. No. No. Well, they don't. Sam, Sam just point. tried to go out the front door and he couldn't. And the garage is now attached. Yeah. I, I, with I left no mom upstairs. Door out. I left mom upstairs with that little kid. Ma. Joey. Yeah, we haven't checked in with you for a while. You. uh I've uh, probably heard most of the chaos going on downstairs, but uh, you've been trying to wipe this stuff off your face. Yeah, uh, is it like a a, a slime kind of thing, or is it oh, like yeah, a, absolutely. A mucus? A mucus, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you know, I take my you know napkin out, and I'm like, oh, kid, what 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 what's going on here? The kid is gone. But you can see the entire uh, top Wait. stairway seems to be a uh, dark a dark brown carpet now. Uh, it was Shit. light gray before. And you can see this hallway leading on sideways There that there was definitely no hallway there before. And I think uh, you make a sanity check at that point, too. Yeah. It's not going to be as, as heavy, but... Ooh, uh, 63, so I fail. A fail? So give yourself a D4. Yes. Let's see. Come on, D4. There you go. All right, three. Yeah. And um, at the sale case, three still heavy enough, right? Um, yeah. And and as you're recoiling from that, you can uh, hear panic at the base uh, of the stairs below you. Uh, the hell? Uh, I'm going to like wipe my face even more with the napkin as much as I can and start heading down. Guys, you got to check this out. What the hell? Is the teddy bear dissolved mess still there or? Um, yeah, once you get to the bottom, no one's been looking at the teddy bear, but you can see where it hit the floor now, and there's a trail from it leading to the wall nearby across from it, and you can see there's a small hole there where it's, uh, maybe about a six inch tall hole that the certainly shape wasn't of a teddy bear? in the shape roughly, yeah, in a round shape, and you can see the smear just leads right up to it and disappears. Fuck is going on here guys check this what what the hell and then i i noticed the blood and everything on the yeah i've got a nasty wound in my side the hell like someone give him first aid yeah yeah, yeah. i've been off do a shirt thing. sleeve and it's my fault yeah yeah we got to get out of here no job is worth this this is no, no I, I hear no. you like that kid Evan, I you saw it for drugs or something uh 
No, that th- this is messed up. I mean, I've I, never we, seen we, a hallucination like this, though. We, we've all been on like creepy sites, but this, this, no, no, no this no, is no, no, insane. No, no. All right, I'm gonna get out the front door. Okay, you, you can't go, go that way. <laughs> <laughs> you, put, right. you go right past Sam, open the front door, right. and you just, just to see that hallway leading uh, leading ahead. Ah! And it's almost Close like it, that. Yeah. It's that effect in the movie where you see the camera right. where it almost Whoa. like expands towards yeah. you. <laughs> Slam it shut. <laughs> the hell? I uh, I mean I'm gonna you know I see the blood I'm gonna you know rip a piece of cloth off and try to help Sam um, because it sounds like you know it's tried already but I'm gonna would that be like a push roll or what would that be like first day um, yeah 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 because I think, I think Gabe that. tried already right I did I, I yeah. tried and I failed yeah. but yeah. Um, so we'll do it as a push roll. If right. you fail, um, unfortunately, right. we'll say that you maybe cost Sam one more point of damage. Uh, all right. Who, who, I mean, I, I, I took my annual training, but who's like, I can, ha- I can help. I mean, if it's some, yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm really you know, one point back one way or the other. Yeah. So. I mean, so one. something I'm okay at first aid. Um, the, you know what? Maybe there's no than... point. Sam, I Sam, mean... you are he- you're hearing this conversation going on. <laughs> you know what? I'll I'll just bind it up so yeah. it doesn't bleed anymore. All right. I'll just... All right. It was my left arm, so you know, great. I'll get workman's comp if it falls off. You're gonna be okay, Sam. Yeah. Here, take a wet yeah. wipe. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. There's alcohol on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, that you're feels fine. so good. It yeah. feels Is so good. There just a little bit of yellow welting around the wound now. There might be. Maybe there's some of your veins are bulging a little bit around it, but uh, it'll probably be fine. Everything that we see isn't real. Pretty sure the blood is. Yeah. What do you mean? That was, that was that. Of course that, it's real. Yeah, that's, I can tell you that was real. Right. That's, that, that blood uh, is mine. Then, yes. Uh, I'm going to take out <laughs> my phone and call, yeah. call, like. Joey, pops. that's not going to work. Not, we're, you, we're, you don't know. I'm going to call Domino's Pizza. Okay, you're gonna call the yeah. um eight, fifteen maybe. minutes, all right. Oh yeah, call Domino's yeah. and get the, the delivery boy in this. <laughs> yeah. No, Domino's mm-hmm. Pizza was the one we had earlier. That yeah, sucks. they're working uh, for whatever hell dimension this place is. You, yeah. you dial the best Domino's pizza. in general. Yeah. You hear the dial ring hey. and it rings and it rings, and then it clicks and it answers, and you hear silence on the other side. Hello? I'd like to order a pizza. Hello. You you hear a child's voice speak back through you to you. Daddy, why did you make us sick? No, I want to order a pizza. Oh my something I'm gonna put him on speaker. Yeah. Something's wrong with mom. Hell I'm gonna knock the phone out of his hand. That and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stomp on it. <laughs> okay. Hey, and... this is my new phone. Oh. Just bait it off. And it's an hits. Android, man. It, it's an Android. I pull out my Nokia. Yeah. My little flip Nokia. Oh, and the I, indestructible one. one. The, the iPhone hits the floor, Fuck. and there's a, a shriek that sounds half organic, sounds half human, and half distortion over the phone, just as Leo you kill comes Siri. down and stomps it. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, are, your phone open. Are there it's any windows that look outside? And now that you look around, there are none in here. Wait, what about mirrors? Uh, yeah, there's still a mirror in the in the bathroom. Um, okay, so just yeah. just a minute here, guys. Has yeah. anybody ever done acid? Because I kind of feel like that might be happening, but I no. I never. To- no. All of us have once. It's too acid real. trips aren't this real. They're not. They're not like this. Joey, I think you're the furthest in the house. I think you were looking where the teddy bear went for a moment there. Right. And and then probably to, to then where back a to mirror might bathroom. be. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, looking in there, you can see again, you you see yourself looking looking back. Right. And uh you look you feel suddenly you feel the weight of the tiredness and, and strangeness oh. of the night oh. settle over oh. you. Do, do I look even like physically more haggard and Tired and strong. It's possible your eyes are a little puffier than usual. Oh. That area around your nose may be getting a little red. Maybe you feel a little bit of an itch. Oh. Guys. 
I don't feel so good. Oh, I this, turned back around. How similar does he look to the man I saw in the in the reflection? Oh, not not as bad as Gary, but uh, yeah, you have some concerns about uh, both both Sam and Joey's state. And, and Joey's a big guy; he's size of seventy two. So, oh, guys, I'm not feeling that well. He looks to you like he has maybe a really bad head cold, maybe at the moment. Is and like is there wipe some any, slime off? Is there any way out of this room? And looking back, you can see the door still kind of half open, leading out to the garage. That uh, from what the others say, there's there's no way out. You can see there's the stairs down to the basement and the stairs upstairs, but that seems to be about it. I'm, I'm not gonna, going back upstairs. I'm going to run upstairs to find a window. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you run upstairs. Um, as you're going up the stairs, you get up to the landing. Uh, the uh, those others of you on the main floor. Which way are you going? Hey, somebody come with me out to the garage. I got a power saw out there. Maybe we can cut our way out of here. I'll grab my uh my pipe wrench and I'll go with him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, so wait a minute. He... No, we better not let I'll go by himself. He might. I'll I'll go keep an eye on on uh, Evan. All right, so the two of you start heading upstairs. Right. Joey, how about you? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to rest um, in the kitchen, like just sit down if I could sit, yeah. get a chair just to catch my breath. Uh, Joey, Leo, well. and, and Gabe, as you step towards the kitchen in that back door towards the garage, you can see there what looks like a set of bloody footprints leading to the door, leading downstairs, and, and a quick line peek around the corner so you can see that footstep. It looks like a woman's barefoot leading down into the steps. Um, Leo and Gabe as you're getting close to the back door it opens before you reach it and you briefly see uh, Rich uh, knocking on the door The uh, you're going to actually I'm going to have you both roll a sanity check at this point and maybe we'll include Billy in, or we'll include Joey in that as well All right. um, I fail Ooh, 82 Ooh. fail that's a fail Okay, so you're all going to take uh, 1d4 on that oh. one. As you see that it looks like um, poor Rich has aged in about another 15 or 20 right. years since you last saw him. Now, at this point, there's several teeth missing. Uh, his skin is visibly sagging. And uh, nonetheless, he's got a bizarrely... He, he looks feverish almost, but yet he's got a, a kind of twisted grin on his face yeah. as he knocks on the door and says... Knock, knock. Anyone still home? Hey, man, we I'm going to need you to stand you. right there and not move a single inch. I need you to take two steps back. You can see three other men standing behind him who start pushing past him into the room. Um, he uh, smiles at you and says... My father meddled in things he couldn't understand and destroyed our family. Tonight, we change things back. And with that, the three other men stumble past him into the room. And you recognize one of them as another CAS employee, Ben. Um, he's leading the way and kind of looks at you with a uh, rather dull expression on his face. Um, it's a second later, you notice that the other two men following him are actually joined to him by a connection of filth and, and goo. And the three of them actually stumble forward as joined twin or as one single entity sort of thing. You can see the other two, both of their heads hang and a line of drool is coming from their mouth down their chests. But uh, Ben's eyes have locked onto you. And um, as Rich laughs and closes the door to the garage as this thing stumbles towards you we're going to go into initiative upstairs sam and evan you hear shouts and screams coming from the kitchen um i have your numbers here the first at the very top of the round we have um leo with uh, 85 dexterity leo what are you doing um i guess i'm i guess i'm just going to start swinging because this isn't like like, this isn't like three people coming and I can reason with them. They're connected and I can see that, right? <laughs> yes, they okay, are. I just want to be clear. I just want to yeah, be clear. Absolutely. I'm not just being a murder hobo. Okay. No, absolutely. The other two are almost hanging off Ben in the center. And you can see oh, six pairs of arms reaching towards you. So 
do I have uh like a I don't know if it has a special name, but the torch you use to uh fuse copper pipes. Do I have that? Uh, you know what? Give me a luck roll. Let's see. You probably have it here. Whether you have it on you or not, we'll we'll see. I like it. I I don't think I have that one written down. Could I use luck on luck? No, I know. I, you uh, can't do so that. That's, I'm afraid. I'm that's I'll sell you mine. <laughs> that is a seventy-eight over a fifty-five. So uh, yeah, I guess I I guess I guess I'm gonna swing. Okay, you're going in with the pipe wrench. Yeah, and I wait a minute. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to swing, uh, and then I'm going to yell out, like, D I'm just going to swing. I'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, okay. And it only has the op option to fight back. So as you swing at it, one of the other hands, maybe holding a uh, screwdriver or a hammer or something like that, swings back at you. Um, as the attacker, you're going to win on the tie. So go ahead and give me a roll. I think you'll have something connected to it. Yeah. So I got a 26. So I got a 39 under 50. Uh, could I could I spend probably not the best no I'll yeah I'll spend can I spend like to make that a hard yes absolutely okay so so that is oof that is fourteen luck that okay. is a lot. All right. One and so that's going to be a D eight plus two plus damage bonus, but I don't have a damage bonus. So it's just a D eight plus two. It had a regular. You had a. Yep, sounds good. Go ahead and roll. Yeah. So that's a hard success. So one D eight. So that's seven. Uh, so nine damage nine damage and um that, that's a hit that would likely kill some some people and um as they kind of move towards you in mass you move right past one of the arms holding a hammer and slug it into the main torso of the thing and a splatter of goo jets from it as as you connect and um all three heads drop their jaws and and instead of letting out a loud scream you just hear almost a cut off wheeze almost comes out of them <laughs> i'm gonna have you roll a sanity check from getting that close to this thing and and you can see okay. that uh whatever deterioration has happened here is is what seems to have stuck them together that is a fail Ooh. Okay, I'm going to give you another D4 from that one. All right. We're filing it on poor Leo. It is okay. Um, Joey and, and Gabe are nearby. Sam and Evan can hear this upstairs. I'm going to look at my order. Uh, actually, it's Evan, and I'm going to include the others in the initiative order as well. So we're going to go to Evan. Um, you hear a loud thump and kind of almost squelch sound from downstairs. Yeah, I think my nightmare uh sort of reaction stuff is going on. I I had to find a window, smash it, get the hell out and run all the way home. Uh if that's <laughs> that's my intention. So what I'll offer you then is as you look around the windows, you're not seeing any. You you know the one door is already closed that had the cockroaches in it. Right. But looking at the others, you don't get a glimpse of windows. But there is that strange hallway leading uh, towards the other house almost that you could go down. Uh, if I see no windows at all, uh, yeah, I think I'll choose the door option and see if I can get into the other house and get out of the window. Okay, so a, again, you feel that squelch of liquid underneath your foot as you step onto a soggy carpet and uh, disappear into the halls of the conjoined house. And we'll move from there on to Billy uh, with Joey. Sorry. 
Uh, Joy, yeah. you're up next. You can see. Uh, oh, yeah, and you were down in the kitchen, so you can yeah. see this action. Leo has stepped in and and right. whacked it with his. The thing is still staggering. Is standing up, arms reaching out. All right, so uh, I I see this happening, and I just lift myself off the chair. Uh, again, you know, being so big, you get to hear the chair kind of creak uh, as he you know gets off, and he's gonna rush towards that thing, grabbing the chair by the leg and smash it against oh the leg or at least like one of the legs of um the um non sentient body so yeah, he, absolutely. what he, what he's thinking is again if he takes out at least one pair of legs it's basically yeah. two legs dragging three bodies it's not going to go anywhere so nice smash it yeah okay. two of those arms are going to be reaching for you trying to grasp yeah. onto you as you do that so yeah go ahead and roll all right and Oh, it absolutely wait. Oh, oh drop something. You can say. All right. So, I got a. I'll be the one. Um. Okay. So I got a fifty-five. My brawl is thirty-five. I'm gonna burn twenty luck to Ooh. make it a make it a regular success. Okay, and it failed. So I'm gonna right. have you. Uh, I'm gonna have you do D4 damage plus um, plus your damage bonus, whatever that okay. is. D4, uh, D4 is a three, and then my damage bonus is one D4. That's a two, so six points of damage. Oh, nicely done. So, uh, yeah, and as you do that, it's now off weighted, and the whole abomination crashes to the floor. I'm Take a step back. The the sounds and smells you're experiencing are like oh. nothing you've you've ever witnessed before. Oh. That was great damage, though. And um, with that, we will go on to Bo. Uh, Bo, you were upstairs. Uh, you saw Evan panicking, and you can hear there is some kind of desperate battle going on downstairs. Evan is, has looked at the other rooms nearby, and you can see he's dashed off down this new hallway that uh you don't think you noticed when you first came into the house oh evan where are you going i'm just gonna chase after him and you gotta focus on there him. okay so at this point um as you walk after him you can see evan going further down the hallway evan we're gonna come back to you really quickly there's doors to the right and to the left of you um and and beyond that the hallway keeps going on around um, uh yeah first door on the right I'm opening and looking for windows. Okay, sounds good. So as you open the door, you can you see um, Sam coming up behind you. Um, I'm ignoring the sounds <laughs> as this is happening. Yeah, and already the out of sight, out of mind. The sounds of the battle below are, are have almost disappeared completely. Uh, we'll go back down below. Uh, Gabriel, you've been watching all this. It is your turn to act um you've you've seen this abomination just crash to the floor um ben's legs are still moving his arms are outstretched towards you it's like he thinks he's still up the other two are struggling to readjust themselves but um you do have a window probably to either run or uh make an attack here yeah if i thought i had a place to run to i would run but i mean the, the door is still open right and uh yeah you can see the door to the garage is still open uh likewise the front door leads to some hallway yeah the hallway, yeah. yeah um but the garage looks like the, the garage it looks like the same garage beyond and, yeah 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 well i'm uh i already hurt my buddy um so um i'm a little unsure about what's going on so rather than take the chance that this is a uh, bow again I'm going to say, come on, guys, let's get out of here. And I'm going to run to where the front door was. Okay, sounds good. And you back off to that point. Um, the other two see the thing struggling on the floor. It's now its turn. You've both made attacks and backed off. So it doesn't have an ability to attack you. I am going to roll a dexterity for it. And that's going to determine whether it can get back on its feet. Um, I didn't see that great strategy coming from Joey. So that is fantastic. And... It failed. 
and you can see that um, it's struggling to get up and right itself, but it can't. It is that the balance of its body is too heavily weighted and, and it's uncoordinated in this state. And again, Ben and the other two workers stare at you with empty expressions. Uh, that brings us back to uh, Leo. Hey, hey, Leo, is there like furniture we just throw on this thing? Yeah, um, yeah. and we're close to the, the, the kitchen. It's like to our left, correct? Yep. Yeah, the kitchen's right in front of you. Yep. Yeah, it's so there's a stove. Uh, yeah. Um, the appliances haven't been brought in yet. I'm afraid. Is there a gas line? That yeah. there is. Okay. Like where your uh, like where your head is at. Uh, I do it. I I am not a gas tech, but I think that's why this is going to work so well. So. Uh, <laughs> So, I have a mechanical repair. Mm -hmm. So usually gas lines, I'm actually looking at, usually they, they're pliable, especially when they're yeah. going into like stoves yeah. and stuff. So I would like to like pull that. And mm -hmm. uh, I would like to try to create a fire. Okay. Uh, I'll assist. I have, yeah. I have a lighter on you maybe or something you can use. You're, I mean, I smoke. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Good, okay, because I don't. Because I, I was yeah. going to be honest, like, nope. Yeah, Leo, <laughs> no. you're, 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 you're. My, my daughter has been trying to get me to quit for years, and I, I keep telling her it's just candy. You tell her so, to worry. You tell her to shut up and worry about her damn teeth, and I'll yes. take the lighter. <laughs> Pretty much. And, <laughs> I, and I will light it and like hold it. Flamethrower. Yeah. Hold it at the at this monstrosity. Okay, and uh, the two of you stand there and and, and are watching. Uh, Gabe's maybe off by the front door. Uh, Gabe, do you think you've gone down the hallway, or or have, have you paused there to wait for them? Oh no, totally going down the hallway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you've disappeared into into the house. Uh, so it's just the two of you standing there watching as Leo's holding this uh, bright flame coming from it as Ben and the others' features begin to slowly melt mm. as it screams and writhes on the floor. I'm going to give you both the sanity check for staying to witness that. Oh, shit. That's fair. Pass. Pass. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Yeah, at this point, oh, you're battle hardened and just ready to see this through. Smells it's... like victory. That's <laughs> fair. Smelled... Yeah, well, something's cooking, but it's uh, yeah. it's definitely not right. Should we still lose like one if we pass? I failed. You know what? Seventy four yeah. over sixty. All right. Oh, you 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 did not pass. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Give, give me just a D four for that, and yeah, for for Joey, we'll do one. Okay. It's another two, so I'm down to forty six. You started with a lot of sand. Holy crap. Yeah, hey, I had it 60. Yeah. I think there's one of them that's really high, but I forget which one. But um, yeah, they're all randomly rolled. And yeah, you can both see this thing. And you stay there until it's done. And you are standing over. Maybe there's just a slight slow kick of one of the legs. But uh, it's no no longer a threat. All right, we should probably put the fire out. Uh, fuck that. It's time to go. Where? Like, the hallway? Yeah, it's time to go. All right, let's get the hell out of then. And uh, I'm going to lumber, you know, still coughing up uh, the mucus or whatever that's in me. <laughs> yeah. And with that, the two of you uh, rush across and into the hallway. And this is where we'll take our next break. Um, from this point going forward, you, all five of you are now in the conjoined house. So this is going to be where we switch to that other background. Ooh, all right. Back on time. Welcome back to Hour 4. As we have entered the conjoined house, uh, we're going to follow up first with Evan and Sam on, on the top floor. Um Evan, you've opened a door into a bedroom. I'm going to have you roll a d6, and that's going to tell me which room in our nightmare configuration here you come into. A uh, six. A uh, six. Uh, you step in, and to your terror and dismay, there is no window in this room. You seem to have walked into a laundry room. You can see there is a that kind of folding um, 
attachment for for draping clothes over you can see there's uh-huh. a washer dryer and there is a sink here with a cabinet underneath it um Um, shit there's no way out you feel Sam gonna... kind of pressing on you from, from behind as you both get the fuck out of my way and I'm I'll, gonna I'll step back uh, go back into the hall and go to the, the room directly across them okay sounds good as you step past and move into it um, Sam you can see into this room do you want to go into the laundry room at all no, I'm I'm afraid if I lose track of Evan, I'm not I'm gonna lose track of Evan. So I'm just gonna oh, keep yeah, an eye on yeah. him. Fair enough. He's and looking then, for something, so I'll just try to In that uh, case, yeah. Door number two, you open Evan, and uh you open the door into what appears to be a very and and yeah, the other room was in quite a bit of disrepair as well. But this library looks like it's been through a lot. Uh there's water damage, there's there's mold over the bookcases. You can see that there's almost a it's almost like a sheet hanging over them or stuck to them of, of black mold clinging to the books in here. There is a large desk with a typewriter off to the side on it, and you can see papers and and stacks. Uh, their carpet is soaking wet in here is there a fireplace there is not uh you do see a window on the wall in here though it doesn't look very big but it does look look as though it looks outside i'm going to run over to the window and if there's any shroud or curtains or cobwebs i'm just shoving through them. yeah you shoving it away you almost recoil at the almost it should be night out you but you probably see street lights instead you see a long a distant landscape it looks like the street in front of you has been subject to an earthquake or some type of wreck everything you see what looked like the wrecks of vehicles outside uh ruins of houses in the distance you see a great uh mountain with just an orange soft orange glow in the sky behind it um i'm going to try and uh open the window if there's a latch if not then i'm going to try to punch through it uh you are able to open the window and as you do a smell comes into the room that is even thicker and grosser than anything and and immediately alarm bells ring in your head you can tell that whatever this is outside it is toxic Oh, good. oh god god oh i'll slam the window back down pull the window down and i'm gonna run over to to sam yeah he's right and, behind you uh, and just I'm, I'm going to grab him and stare into his face and yell what the hell is going on i don't know but opening windows isn't going to help um, we got to figure can, out what's happening. Yeah, you can see the the bookshelves here look as is. You're not sure you could detach one book from another necessarily, but there's the typewriter. There's desk drawers. You can see what looks like. I'm going to pull of- the whatever is in the typewriter out and read it. Okay, yeah, you know what, even before you reach the typewriter, you have, you can see there is another sheet of paper on the desk there that you can see more handwritten notes. We destroyed them tonight. I wish I could say I enjoyed it, or that it reawakened some old strength of purpose in my heart. But mostly it was sad, dangerous, and exhausting. Athalia had her hands full with one of the mystics, and I ran forward to interrupt the ritual. The foul thing they had summoned was partially through the gate. I could see a fetid, pulsing landscape through that tear in reality they created. To my chagrin, I recognized the mountain in the distance and knew at once this was Vormith. Driath cult was our board myth or whatever. As I fired the rifle into the cultists, I suddenly felt a foul wetness around my ankle, a tendril of that creature. And as you read that aloud to Evan, uh, you both you finish it and you realize that the sentence goes on. And again, on the other side of the page, the lines are slurred and smeared across. Um, you stare at each other for a brief second before you hear the sound of of the hammer striking of. Click, 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 click. It's the typewriter. What does it mean? Is it typing something into the paper? Or? Yep, and you hear the click as the, the thing, the spool turns and the paper shoots up and then another line starts clicking. 
Evan, look, come on. I know nothing makes sense. Just look. Maybe there's something here. Yeah. And after another line or two of printing, uh, it moves forward and you um, see the uh, paper come out of it. At first, when you look at it, it, it just almost appears to be a mismatch of letters. But as you stare at it a little bit further, some of it may, may, may start to make sense. Hey, Leo. Hi, Leo. Check beneath bottom left drawer. Pez I raise the yam from this hill. From this hill. It cannot be saved me sorry. It cannot be saved me sorry. I will check beneath the bottom left drawer. Okay. And yeah, pulling out the bottom left drawer, you see a small bound book. You pull it out and yeah, in the spot beneath it, there's a small bound bound book. Uh, you can see it's got a black leather cover pulling it open. Uh, you can see very small handwriting detailing things. Um, I'll let you roll a cult if you have it. I probably don't. This is not my character's cup of tea, but let's see. Uh, I have 5%. Oh, geez. Nope. Uh, um. Evan, my friend, does this gibberish mean anything to you? Um, what what am I rolling? A cult. No, ninety two. It's evil. Yes. Can, we can't glean anything from this. Uh, okay. Yeah, as you glean and uh, going, you kind of are flipping through, trying to understand and go back to the front. And um, I, okay, you know what? I have it written right here. You do see a title from it. Um, here it is. Sorry. Um, sorry, one second. I lost. Uh, oh, it, it, it uh, reads Beckoning of Nakai, Volume 5. And um, you gather it to be some kind of cultish spell book of some kind. Well, you what the hell does that even mean to me? <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. You can see uh, going through it, you can see more notes and, and, and words. Most of them you, you couldn't dream of even pronouncing correctly. Yeah. Um, the three places you can see where it looks as though uh, man has made notes in the columns. Um you can Do those see notes there. make any sense? <laughs> yeah, those make a little sense, and and it's just three different descriptions. One in front of one section, it reads "cleanse the flesh." Further on, it reads "unraveling scour," and then after that, you can see "sever interdimensional tether." Okay, this is witchcraft. Do we use witchcraft to fight witchcraft, or do we just run around screaming and kicking in windows and doors? I'm not a witch. I am I just want out of here. Okay, I'm not a witch either, but this might be the way here. It, can it get any worse, Evan? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's look at Cleanse Don't the Flesh. Don't ever I'll try ask to, that. I'm Jesus sorry, I'll Christ. never ask you that again. I'll look at Cleanse the Flesh and see if that makes sense. Oh, yeah, you begin going over, and, and yeah, none of the words make sense, but it appears to be some, as far as, you know what, I'm going to have you roll an occult roll to even guess, otherwise you're just going to have to go on the title of it. Okay, well, 5%. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, not that you, what, you could start reading it, but what would it do? I don't so, know. Shall I do the Clato Verato Nicto with this? If if he's looking at that and trying to read it, I'm leaving the room. And what, Evan? This might help us. Continuing down the hall. Oh my god! Okay, I'm going to follow him at a safe distance, so I don't lose yeah. sight of him. But I am going to try to read this. That that laundry room is still across from you, and you you gather that maybe there could be something in there to help. Oh, okay. Um, I'll I'll run in there and see if there's something I can grab to start smashing things with. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, and uh, looking in there, you can see the washer, the dryer, and the sink and cabinet on the other side. Uh, Wait, but how clean is this room? Dirty. It's slimed. It's sludgy. There's the same mold over top of everything. Okay, and this first thing was called cleaning the flesh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try it. Yeah, what's, okay. What's going to happen? So, uh, as you are going through this room, Evan, you hear Sam speaking words from the other room. Um, none of them make sense, but... Flurg, uh, yeah. Flurg, Negan, 
Klafnik Klafnichtach. Oh. Which are you? Which are you going for the the washer dryer or the the cabinet and sink? The cabinet under the sink. Okay. Um, yeah, you open it and uh, it kind of almost peels open as you break kind of a line of of filth around it. And underneath, inside, yeah, you can see that there appears to be a large bottle of bleach, a bottle of a uh, few other cleaning determinants, some kind of toilet cleaner, and and uh, yeah, it seems like there's a few hard chemicals underneath here. Oh. Uh... Well, I know mixing chemicals together can produce a lot of poisonous gas, so I don't want to do that. Um, I'm definitely not going to spend some time cleaning. Uh, uh, if there's nothing that I think is useful, and I don't think there is, I'm just going to run farther hey, down the good. hallway. And yeah, you... Uh... You slam the door shut and take off down the hall. Um, Sam, you've been reading, and uh, I'm going to let you roll a D4 for me. Oh, dear. There we go. That rolls me a two. Rolls you a two? We were going to give you that many hit points back. Oh. And um, as you finish it, you can see the uh, damage to your arm. You can see where it's welted, and you can see where those black veins have started to run across and around your arm. Right. The uh, kind of grayish-purple mass on it subsides, and you can see your regular flesh tone coming back. You're still wounded, but uh, the, the signs of the encroaching infection have, have lessened. Evan, this helps. This isn't nonsense. However, at the same time that that happens, I'm... yeah, I know. Uh... I try not to lose you because I'm afraid you're going to run off. <laughs> um, sorry, give me a second here. That is uh, going to take away uh, two magic points from you. Okay, that's well. fine. Yeah, don't have a lot of those, but that's okay. Okay, I'll try to keep Evan in sight because I know once I've lost him completely, I'll probably never find him again in this dump. Yeah, sounds good. And uh, he's already gone around the corner and you wander out after trying to catch him. Let's move over to the other three for a brief time here. Gabe, Leo, and Joey um, have stepped into the hall on the main floor. And you can see it seems to be arching around. You can see there is a single door down here heading to your right, as well as the passage continuing on left. The hallway continues on. Um, and you hear what almost sounds like talking or sound coming from from further down the hallway does it sound like the the people we were missing i can't you, you give me a listen check yeah i was gonna say does it sound like people yeah it does at first i failed my listen let's see 25 let's see i failed mine Listen, I 30, I pass. Ah, nice. Okay. Finally. Um, to all of you, it sounds like people. Uh, Joey, you're really trying to hear, and and uh, despite the fact that you can feel your sinuses just are right. continuing to to fill Popping. with gunk, um, you hear the the sound of um of Sammy talking, and you think you hear her saying, "Please, he needs to go to a hospital," and then you hear kind of. Other sounds a mixture of groaning and growling and uh kind of a dull repetitive man's voice repeating something you can't understand. But guys, I I, I hear is, is, is Sammy from the other crew and Which way? Which way? No, over there. And and I point to sort of the source of sound, but I also hear like some some like dude chanting. Oh, I don't feel so good. Let's run. Just lead us towards Sammy. Let's go that way. I, I'm going to try to no, lead the way. That doesn't sound good to me, man. Stumbling. I'm getting out of here. I'm checking the door. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, Gabe, as, as Leo starts to head onwards, you open the door and you can see there is a uh, large rec room in front of you. It looks like there's a pool table that's kind of fallen over. You can see pool balls have scattered across the floor. Um, <clears throat> there appears to be, looks like a, a rotting moose's head up on the wall. One of the antlers is crooked on it and uh, kind of sagging coaches. Give me a spot hidden.
44. My spot hidden is 45. Wow. Is it possible that that's a rifle hanging on the wall at the back of the room? I'm grabbing it. Okay, so you're heading into the uh, rec room. Okay, Gabe crosses into the room. Leo, you're you're heading onwards down the hall. Yeah, if he's if he's leading me towards who he Yeah, thinks I'm to just be. stumbling towards where I think I hear uh, Sammy and everyone. Okay, and Joey's going too. Okay, so the two of you go on. Um, you're walking down the hall. You can hear every once in a while. You hear uh, the. kind of more pleading and, and different sounds. Gabe, you cross the room and you can see there's a small uh, table in front of where this rifle hangs on the wall. And before you reach up to it, yeah, you can see there's another piece of journal that uh, seems to have been left on the table here. Can I reach the rifle without climbing up on the table? Ah, uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. Two weeks now since we dealt with the uh, intrusion. That, I don't like those dots. And life seems to have gone back to normal. Athelia naturally has disappeared back into the woodwork without a word as to where she was going or how to get a hold of her. Truthfully, she that's just fine with me. I'm ready to put all that business behind me for good. If the world needs saving again, I think a new generation had better be ready to step up. What? Is, what are they talking about? I was able to resume reordering the library at last, but to my surprise, found a large lump of dirt behind a small set of my more esoteric books. Yes, indeed. Now that the bad business... There's a whole probably is done with time to clean up around intrusion back life back to normal. Ugh. I'm just a simple carpenter. I don't know what these people are talking about. I want that rifle. Yep, you pull her off the wall. And I check it. Is it loaded? It's not. It's not loaded. Yes, How's sir. the barrel look though? It looks good. It looks like Yeah. you can see there's a little rust on the outside of it, but uh, the Mm-hmm. gauge would be working. Is it possible that he could have some bullets stowed around here somewhere? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to search for bullets for sure. Okay. Sounds good. Um, let's go back outside the hall where Sam, or sorry, where Leo and uh, Joey have continued on down the hall. The two of you come around to Ben, and you can see that you are in a rather wide open kind of front entryway. There is stairs leading up on a grand set of staircase leading off to your left that leads up to the second floor where there's a balcony looking over. Um, directly in front of you, though, you can see Dan's body slumped on the ground. It looks like he's he is bleeding from his, his temple. Uh, Sammy is kneeling directly beside him. Over top of them, you see Gary standing with a completely blank expression holding the mallet still. Uh, there is another one of those monstrosities here. You're guessing you know now what happened to the building crew. And uh, what's worse is in the back alcove of the room behind these stairs, you just have a glimpse of uh, Rich Masilva, um, who you're now beginning to suspect is not really Rich Masilva, who is standing at the back wall. There seems to be some type of doorway open behind him, but it is a strange round doorway that seems to open onto something else. And at that point, the two of you walking in and seeing this, I'm going to have you both make a sand check. You can see, uh, yeah, you can just, you can just see the edge of it. Um, there is some kind of cavern beyond. Have they spotted us or are we like, like sneaking? You tell me, uh, you were, you were rushing a minute ago. Do you think you're, you've still rushed in or you think you've slowed down as you've gotten closer? Realistically, I don't know. I, I figure we'd be, well, I mean, I'm lumbering because I'm, I'm not exactly, you know, Okay. subtle at this stage. And even So, if, if even if we stop, stopping right. is going to make noise. Right. But let's, uh, let's do a sanity check first. Ooh, pass 15. Nice. Uh, one point. Yeah. Wait. Oof. Forty nine. That is a fail. Could Oh, I use God. luck to alleviate that? 
I don't think you can for sanity, I'm afraid. All right. So what am I rolling? You're rolling a D6. I'm sorry. Oof. And and I think we're going to explain this as you come along. You take another two steps into the room past Joey, and you can see beyond whatever type of portal he's opened, there is some kind of great cavern. And you can see that it is from, from this seems to be the source of all filth in the world. So I take four, so I'm down to 42. Okay. That will put me past the 20%. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, you can feel deep inside your mind things are snapping and breaking. I'm going to have you roll a power check at this point then. Okay. <clears throat> that I pass. That Almost you passed. Um, you can feel tendrils of whatever this is reaching into your mind. And for a second, you start flashing back to, to childhood memories that this is almost trying to touch and to taint. And before you steal your will and are able to push it out of your mind. The two of you stand in front of madness. Uh, could I, could I run in front of madness now yeah I absolutely run? do you want to run towards rich or run towards um gary standing over the other two but that's where the the triple head zombie is right yeah yeah because this is definitely not sam uh i mean it it, it 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 even if it is it does us no good yeah we either go through the we Oh, you know what? We should push the guy to the dirt dimension. After you. Just bum rush him. After uh, you. At this point, um, Joey is confused. He's he he has very like this is so surreal, he doesn't know what's happening. All, all he's associating is there's rich. How how far away is Rich and and the Rich you know, is in the very back of the room. He's he's probably a good twenty feet away at least, oh, kind of yeah. curved around the side. You right. can only see the edge of this thing. Is that okay. if you were to get closer to him, you would certainly get a deeper look into whatever is okay. whatever. And and is no on. one has at least um, been alerted to us yet. Or they're they're literally becoming aware of you now as you're deciding this. I'm still still gonna give you an action if you choose. Okay, so. I see. So Rich is over there around the curve. There's um, Dan, well, dead body of Dan, Gary, Sammy, and the you know three headed thing. Yeah. Back is where I came from, and then there's a balcony up, right? Yeah, there's stairs leading upwards to a second floor or fuller balcony, and um, I think we'll say even that as you look up it, right. you see uh two of your companions walk out onto it and see Evan and uh, Sam appear at the top up there. They haven't looked down yet to see you. They're still standing, but... Um... Okay, so if I shout, yeah, they'll be aware I'm here, but other people would be aware that they're up there. It'll, it'll be on. The chaos gremlin in me does want to do something, but Joey wants to do something entirely different. Um... Joey has no idea what's going on. He's he he he's in shock. He's um, you know, coughing up mucus. So he is going to go and yell for Evan and Sam to get out of here. It's like, hey. guys, get out of here. And Evan and Sam, you hear that, and at that point, you've walked out onto it and looked down. You can see that the uh, balcony, that the, the hall you're going through, opens up to a balcony to your right. You can see there's stairs leading down and around. And as you get up to that, looking down, you can see Joey and Leo at the bottom of the stairs, uh, looking onto the scene. Another one of those abominations there. Gary standing over the young, at least unconscious, if not dead, body of Dan. Uh, Sammy is is there looking wounded as well uh for the two of you can't see rich but you can hear him chanting and mm. yeah i think at that point we'll just yeah. go right into initiative actually sure um nearby in the house um 
Gabe is still uh, looking for bullets. So we will include Gabe in this as well. Uh, we'll start the round with um, Leo. Okay. So do I know they're above me now? Uh, yes, yeah. Everyone uh, heard Joey call up to them. You can Okay. see the uh, Gary kind of dimly look up and the abomination kind of turn towards the two of you as its nearest targets. Okay. So I'll I'll run and make a quick right up the steps. Um And I'll just say, so what the hell happened to you guys? Okay. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm Yeah. just <laughs> and then, losing it. you know what? And and Evan is next in order. Um, Leo, you get to the top of the stairs and, and yell at Evan. Evan <laughs> screams right back at you. Evan, it's your turn. Yeah, I uh I'm going to grab Leo if he's coming up and I'm coming down. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm looking into his face as if I'm blaming him. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't do anything. Uh, not It's not not his literally, fault. but it's like, what the fuck is going on? And What Evan, the, you... what is that? <laughs> but you see this uh, chaos down at the bottom of the stairs, and you can see beyond them, just beyond the angle where um, where Joey and Leo are, you can see a grand arched front doors of this thing, and you hear a bang, and, and they shake as something outside is trying to smash its way in through them. Um, I did not pass the sand. Okay, yep. I think at that point, seeing you, you have no vision of what's going on with Rich. So just seeing what's going on down below will give you a D6 of sand damage. Uh, the you can see the bloodied and infected body of your friend Dan at the Oh, bottom there. Oh, Ooh. you got got a five. five. Uh oh, the magic five. number. Okay. Past my my intelligence. Oh no. Okay. Be smart for your own good. Be smart for your own good. So, uh, on the table, I rolled hallucinations. Oh, Oh, and and yeah. uh, hallucinations, uh, yeah, phobia mania. Okay, Ooh. so so yeah, for phobia, you you have a fear of of dirt or infection or germs or anything like that. Um, having any of this on you is immediately triggering and and um, disturbing. Um, at the same time, what was I going to say? Um, you, uh, for the hallucination part, you you think you see a young boy and girl in the room as well, kind of past where Gary is, both in kind of sick. stay at home type clothing with with red rings around their eyes and noses um mums over maybe by a piano off in the far corner and you think you hear the sounds of piano notes beginning to play as she coughs and wheezes hunched over the piano Um, I think I have to back into, if I'm on the stairs, I'm going to, the least amount of stuff is upstairs at this point. So I'm going back up the stairs. Get climbing up after her. Uh, I'm After finding the middle of the wall between the hallway and the stairs, and I'm pressing myself up against the wall. And I don't want anybody to touch me or or anything. I am shutting down. and Yes. then you realize that you're touching the wall and it's literally crawling with stuff and then you take a little bit of a step step forward from that. Yeah. So I'm I'm just I'm trying to find that bubble of cleanliness in the middle of nothing and seriously thinking about finding that laundry room again and pouring bleach all over myself That might oh be a good god maneuver. <laughs> um but i have to go back through the house which i don't that part is not i am going to freaking be fun out at this point okay i made them oh there we go i made the mistake of printing everything into separate sheets now i'm like okay what sheet went where okay so actually after evan is joey 
Um, Joey, you're standing at the bottom of the stairs. Um, you hear the bang on the front doors to your other side. And um, you, Gary's attention has turned to you, as has the abomination. Right. So the, the, something's banging on the front door. Yeah. And, and the front door is close to where Gary and the abomination is. Like it's between Gary and the side path, side there's sort of where Rich would be, right? Yeah. Okay. And and there's no way for me to know if the front door is locked or unlocked. I Whatever it is right now, it doesn't seem to be get it, get in. It's again, given you have enough trouble right in front of you, that might be a good thing. Yeah, I was hoping to have one monster kill the other. Uh, okay. Billy wants to go and punch Rich in the face. Oh, Joey, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Joey is gtfoing because he's not that insane so okay so yeah. you are gonna I'm going back up the, the the stairs where everyone else seems to be okay so yeah, 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 yeah. so you're running up so right like lumbering well. up yeah <laughs> and um yeah as you do that you hear um behind you it's it's rich next and you can hear his voice getting louder as he continues to chant rich shut the fuck up and uh he says something and um gary starts stalking up the stairs behind you ah shit um you can see the abomination reach down and grab uh dan's body and toss it forward to to wherever rich is standing you hear <laughs> All right, so yeah, I think I'm still running up, and and that would be sort of yep. And yeah, and you reach the others at the top. Yeah, um, like what are you guys waiting for? Run! And I try to push past them to wherever there's. Okay. Room. Gary is right behind you and swings the mallet down Ooh. at your back. Are you gonna try to dodge or fight back? Let's see. Um. I am going to attempt to dodge. And let's see. Okay. So I got a 42. And I am going to burn 10 luck. So I'm down to 20 to make it a success. To make it a regular. And that was for dodge? Yes. Okay. I'm he rolled a 10 straight up with it, which is an extreme. Oof. Okay, so I'm gonna get hit no matter what. Off. So the mallet hits you for six damage. Okay. Oh, and that is gonna cause you a constitution roll to see if uh you stay up. Oh, because oh. it's uh half my damage, right? Or half my hit point. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Con 55 and Ooh, 22. Okay, I'm fine. Nice. Okay, and you it's like, take like, the blow and yeah, you stay yeah, I'm coughing up blood and mucus. <laughs> oh, Joey. Um, and that brings us to Bo. Sam Bo. Okay, what was the... There is cleanse the flesh and sever the whatever. What was the other thing written in this book? Um, yeah, sever uh, the connection, uh, cleanse the flesh, and an unraveling scour. Unraveling scour. Did I see this? What is the thing attacking Joey look like? Because I can't see what's in the room because I'm not. Uh, the thing this. attaching Joey is that dickhead Gary who got himself cut and then ate the pizza and. Uh, does he look does he look like contaminated by hideousness or what does he look like? He looks contaminated beyond redemption. If there uh, Gary didn't have that much personality to begin with, but whatever oh, he had is is gone. Is gone. Ah, uh, how quickly can I read the second thing? I'll try it. Yeah, start chanting it. Okay. Snorfin. So this one is going to cost you five more magic points. Oh, shit. I'm not going to have much left. I'm the guy with not much power. <laughs> okay. What does it do? Anything useful? Oh, it does something useful. Um, But I'm also going to uh, ha have to cost you a D10 of sanity on it as well. Oh, joy. Here we go. 
five. Okay. Okay. I haven't Roll. hit the twenty percent yet, but that's okay. Roll me two d six damage against this thing. Two d six. Eight. Oh, okay. Well done. Not average, but not bad. And five uh, sanity too, so intelligence. Yeah. Yep, give me the intelligence roll. Okay, so that unfortunately have a reasonable number. And I made my intelligence roll, of course. Magic is real. Other dimensions are real. Hideous eldritch monsters are real. All of this is not a hallucination or a delusion. This is happening right in front of you. And the universe impacts you. We'll have you roll as your sanity is stripped. What I want to do is put floor down and pay out my alimony off. Do you, <laughs> you want him to roll a one d eight? Yeah. Temporary. Yeah, yeah. Do you no, do you want me to roll it? Yeah, you betcha. Seven. Ooh, that's is that the bad? same as me. Hallucination. Oh, great! You and I are sharing uh, the same. You can do one one d four. Okay, hold on. One. That's the same as me too. You get a oh phobia no. or a mania. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Nice. And you know what? Again, I think I think the overwhelming filth and grossness around you is gonna yeah, that phobia has to be uh just the overall germaphobe. And um you see this spell at the same time as your brain is struggling to contain and hold the knowledge that that you've you've now been privy to, you can see line circling Gary as he's standing over um Joey's rasping ragged form and and it's just cutting into all that and you can see a large chunk of the corruption and infection on Gary. It almost is torn off by it, and you can see open wound underneath it. That uh, most diseased part of him entirely is that arm, and you can see it gets sliced right off him as this kind of scouring magic continues to cover his body. Um, we will move on in the order, though, to to Gabe. Gabe, give me a spot hidden. It's far <laughs> less exciting here in the. Uh, You're the in the yeah uh, yeah. There's ninety four. Ooh, 94 failure. no bullets you're you're looking you're panicking you're going through thing pulling out uh shelving nothing you can hear S sammy screaming now from the hallway you can hear the sounds of um your companions yelling um, oh then if i can hear them then i'm i'm taking off you're taking and off okay yeah to you, see if i can help them you search and start running down the hall okay sounds good um uh, the Shambling Detritus already moved to throw Dan in, so we're going to go to the top of the round with Leo. Leo, you're on the stairs. Uh, you can see this ritual still continuing at the bottom of the stairs. Um, it appears that your companion Sam has unleashed some kind of magic on, on Gary, who seems to be at least temporarily stopped. Whatever effect is happening there seems to be continuing. Okay, so I'll, I'll run up to... To say, I guess to to Bo, mm. um, and can I like put together that he just did that? Yes, you can. You can see he's reading from a book, and and it looks very similar to whatever Rich is reading from downstairs. Okay, and can I get close to see to see the book? Uh, yep. Yeah. You can see it's got weird diagrams and and language written through it that you can't quite understand. Uh, it looks as though Sam doesn't entirely understand it himself, although there is kind of a feverish expression on his face as he regards us all. <laughs> okay. Exactly that one. And it had you said it had like three spells in it, and that he yeah. just did the second one. Yeah. yeah, but he had some time up upstairs to read it a little bit. But yeah, you you want to. Uh. I, okay, so what was the third spell? Because I swear it was like something like sever, sever, yes. dimensional, interdimensional, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Could I try that? If um, if if Bo will even let me have it, because I know he's he's a germaphobe now. That's the question. You see, uh, 
Well, I know that I... it's real. Try the try the last thing, and I'll hand it to him without touching him. And then I'm going to run to where all the bleach is. Well, I, I think just... Leo's the only clean one. The rest of us are tainted. Yeah, yeah I'm going to like a Tyvek say, suit. <laughs> yeah. If, oh, if, you look if, clean. Do you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you even through the Le- hallucinations, everything going on, Leo appears to you. <laughs> and, uh, oh, he looks like he's like a shining example of clean. I have yeah. an aura. <laughs> this aura yeah. of, okay, in that, case, clean. Yeah. in that case, Leo, this shit works. Try the last thing. Maybe it'll do something. And I'll hand it to you. Well, I'll keep my thumb on the spot where the third spell is, and I'll just kind of hand it to him so he can see it. And then okay. I'm going to run to the bleach because i got to cover myself in bleach. And you dash off down the halls. Um, <laughs> did I do you? No, I didn't. Do so I've never done a wizard's duel before, but I'll start reading. Okay, you're going to start reading. We're going to delay you around before you can find what okay. you're talking about and what you're doing. Yep, sounds good. In the meantime, we're going to move on to Evan. Um. Well, there was a point where Joey started coming up the stairs. Um. Then Sam started running in my direction, and the only way to avoid germs, obviously, well, I'm not going to touch is, you either. You're covered. <laughs> it's too late. You're coming in my direction. I'm I'm running. Uh. So I am thinking about the bleach. I am trying to just run back the way that I came. I I think I know what you're doing now. I'm going to yell at you. Don't bogart the bleach, Evan. Don't bogart the bleach. Shut the the fuck up. Stay so for me, you fucker. Stay the fuck away from me. No, give me some of that good bleach. (laughs) You German fested. I'm not German fested. You are. (laughs) <laughs> Joey, you're fighting to remain conscious on the stairs. And... While these bitches are screaming at each other, Gary, um, uh, Gary, uh, almost brought you down with a blow, yeah. but another nothing has happened but, since then. And you can see the so, mallet has dropped from Gary's but, hands as he stands on the stairs behind you, just I, shaking. I'm, I'm picking up. Wait, is it a? I'm picking up his mallet, discussing yep. though it might be. And I am, you know, coming up and smashing it right at him, hoping to hey. knock him down the stairs, if nothing else. Oh, hey, yes. Give me a, give right. me a brawl roll. He, uh... My luck is abysmal. But those... Is he stunned or, or anything like that? He is like stunned. That? He is, Ooh, he's at advantage. He's just... Yep. Oh, yeah. We'll give you advantage. Okay. I, oh, I needed Swing. it because the first one's 96. Yeah. And the second <laughs> one is... All right. Let's see. It is a 46. I'm going to burn... How much luck do I have left? I'm going to burn 11 points of luck. Okay. Luck is bringing me down to man. nine. Oh! <laughs> Just smash him oh. right in the head. Okay. And knock him and back it, down. He's going to feel it. Yeah. No, no, me, he's dead. Uh, but I'm, I'm buying me, time. <laughs> give me 1d6 plus your, plus your damage bonus. All right. Come on. D6 is 5, and cool. the damage bonus is D4, which is a 2, so 7. Gary is no longer meant to be part of this world. What, tell me what happens as, as you <laughs> erase him. So seeing the scouring already cutting into different parts of Gary, his arm falling off and things like that, you know, Gary or what's, part of, uh, what's left of Gary and I make eye contact for just one second before I, you know, just wing his mallet yeah. um, over his mallet, I guess. If, if, if there is a brief glimmer of life yeah. in those eyes, right. it, it means nothing to you as you remember this fucker also owes you 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh. My damn donut. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the, the head explodes right. and you can see... Uh, maggots and worms fly from it and and, and i'm like crawling because i'm probably backing away on the stairs to where leo is uh, chanting it sounds good and um that brings us to rich who is chanting if you look over uh, your as you get up to the top you have a just a brief glance like down yeah. and um, you make eye contact with Sammy as she looks back up at you. And at that moment, you see something large and thick slither from behind Rich out and wrap itself around her and yank her off her feet. And she slides across the floor. 
Sammy, who I barely know and have no emotional attachment to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a Sammy roll anyways. You made, you made a good case, but uh, Fair enough. Uh, whatever whatever doorway to somewhere else that uh, she's gone. All right. <laughs> I failed that roll. Okay. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give you a D6 on that. Okay. D6 is a four. Okay. Sounds good. And I am down to, ooh, what am I down to? I am down to 44 over 55. So I'm at 20%. Like okay. I've lost. Yeah. Do have I? I've lost 20%. Yeah. You can feel the weight of the night hanging over yeah. you. Your life is never going to be the same after this. But yeah. um, you just need, you feel in your heart that if you can just hold it together for a little bit longer. I just need braces. I just need to live <laughs> long enough to get her braces. Yeah, who is her again? That's the thing. Is that was it? Right. You was it her? What's her name? Like, uh, it, it's all starting to come apart yeah. now. And oh. um, yeah, that was him. Uh, Gary, I can cross off. That's nice. And uh, Troy, you and Evan have reached the the laundry room. Um, yes, that bleach is there. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try. To, I'm going to be. I'm going to be a them. decent guy and share. Is there something besides bleach? Uh, yeah, there's a few different. Okay, you can see there's some liquid soaps. There's some uh, detergent for the for kind of a liquid pouring detergent for the for the. Okay, do washer. I feel clean about myself? Because I cast that clean spell on. You know what you do actually. Since I'm going to start, soap, I'm just going to start dumping soap on Evan and see if he objects. Uh, no, yes, I object. Don't I don't want your <laughs> filthy soap on me. Oh, I'm, fine then. Okay, I'll I'm take. Going I'll to... leave you the bleach and grab some other stuff and rush out because everyone else needs to be cleansed. <laughs> I I'm tried, gonna, Evan. I tried. And, <laughs> I'm going to try to clean, clean myself with bleach. Which Soap was good. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, but... fool. Yeah. You're gonna, your skin is going to look nice and pink, bleach. though. <laughs> it's going to blister. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and um, assuming this is actually bleach and not. Yeah. Anything, anything else? Yeah. Though. As you're you're pouring it over your arms, Evan, you look up and you can see um, Curtis Wilson's wife Marlene in her in her bath coat, all wrapped up and shivering, looking at you. And she says, "There, that will help it. That will help it." Um. Uh, okay. If I see still seeing shit, I'm going to drop the bleach, and I am going to run back down the hallway the way I came hoping that somehow I'm going to end up back in the uh, the original house yes okay get out but and uh, yeah you run and find yourself in a cross section and look down the hallway to either side of you look down the hallway ahead and all you see are hallways stretching on Um, okay, at that point, I think I'm falling down and going into a fetal position. <laughs> oh, no. As my skin begins to blister from the bleach. <laughs> yeah, I try to collect as much other cleaning supplies besides the bleach. And I just cook. start screaming. Oh, God. Uh, oh. Mean, <laughs> okay. And I fail my sanity. Oh okay. no! I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a uh, d6 on that one. I'm sorry. Is that oh? Uh, there is no escape. Yeah, I got. I only lost four, but only yeah, four. And I still think yeah. I'm insane at this point. Uh, yeah, all around you, from uh, you, you see Dan and Gary walking. You see Ben, the sheet metal worker, trying to scratching at his arms, trying to raking deep furrows in them, trying to get infection off. You see the two younger kids walking by, looking looking for their parents. You're seeing all kinds of things going on as we come back down to Gabe. Gabe, you have run out into the hall. You can see utter chaos is going on all around you. Um, you hear the sounds of Leo chanting at the top of the stairs. Um, it looks as though Joey's defending him with a mallet. You can see the remains of Gary's head Headless body has fallen down the steps and lies at your feet. Um, and just around the corner from where you are, you can hear Rich and just see a little bit of the outline of Rich around the corner. Um, 
speaking and reading from from some book there is some type of tentacle or something lashing through some kind of portal or door in the wall nearby and you can see it slashes back and forth and 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 wax against the wall nearby you and still you hear the banging on the outside door the thing of of someone trying to get in or something if, if i see gabe i'm gonna yell shoot him shoot him if only I had bullets. <laughs> Gabe, you're still holding the gun, but you realize, yeah. yes. Shoot sir. him. <laughs> yeah. Is, is there one in the chamber? I think I he, checked. He Please looked check. and there okay. was none, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I am going to use the uh, rifle as an improvised weapon and try to yes, smack sir. whoever's um, reading. Yeah, yeah. And you can... you. Turn around the corner and you can see that um, there is not even that much of rich left at this point. There seems to be some tendril that's already reached out from around it that is is encircled him as he reads. He continues to age and deteriorate himself and you see Rich Masilva or perhaps Arnold Wilson as he continues to recite this. Um, yeah, you go ahead and make an attack. It is uh, I got a sixteen. Or... That's a hard success on my brawl. Okay, you hit him. Give me your damage plus um. Pl what what would the damage be? Oh, uh, uh, for for using rifle, I think we'll go with d six. We'll go. Okay. Let's do d six plus d four for my damage bonus. Seven. Seven. He drops Shut the, the fuck up, Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can see the the portal there still open the thrashing tentacle kind of moves and you at this point are standing in full sight of it and you can see this open cavern yawning before you where in the center of it is a great pile of primordial goo that is con is rising up into a cone reaching out of it pulling itself back into it stretching out ooze and, and tendrils reaching forward into your world and that my friend is going to be a sanity roll yeah and, uh, and why would i have to roll sanity for that come on that's nothing I see that every day uh no i failed you failed this one's going to be a d20 because god damn oh wow oh oh, oh, oh Oof. god Oof. do not pass go Oh, Four. Whoa. <laughs> Four. Woo. You are the man for the job. And you're adapted um, to shit literally. Well done. Oh my god. Give me a power roll at the same time, please. Okay. That was really lucky because if I lost <laughs> eight or no six more, I would have gone indefinitely insane. Uh my power is 40. I rolled a 57. Ooh. 57 luck, 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 and luck. can i use luck on this um on a power roll yes you can all right then i succeed use it up okay <laughs> again you have that same sensation of that first time you rode a bike and fell off it and scraped your knee and and suddenly that memory changes to, to being a great moldy infected wound and and mm. you're, you're feeling it reaching into many of your different memories and trying to to filthify Stay them out. and 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 yeah you are able to gain force your willpower and and force it out of your head and and regain your composure at this point um the three-headed creature of of the men the poor people who built this who framed these houses comes up behind you to attack and uh and I, I dodge will, i will give you the choice to dodge absolutely i would like to dodge Although I'm no, terrible at dodge, but I failed, but I'm going to use my uh, luck to have a regular success. Regular success is a good idea. Um, and I rolled a double zero and a three. Mm. Oh, that oh. sounds like it should cancel out. <laughs> <She's> like, ah, <laughs> smack. Uh. <laughs> I'm like afraid. the left arm beats the right arm, yeah. Yeah, the left <laughs> arm beats the right arm. And um you feel one of the arms grabs you and pulls you away from Rich as two of the other arms start uh 
hammering at you, beating at you. You take four damage from it, and but um, you can you can feel that um, you could be in trouble if this goes on. Um, Yeah. nonetheless, Rich himself is is shocked at the disruption of whatever spell he was doing. It does not close the portal. You're you're still are in full scope of the monster on the other side, and you can see now whatever he's come out of whatever spell he was in, and he's clearly beginning to panic at the
I don't know, haven't man. seen any journal at all. Like, oh, you haven't seen any of these yeah. before? What the hell is this shit? It's I've been finding them. I found two already. Um, the the it seems like this guy, whoever wrote this, he and this woman, her name's on there. I have a hard time reading it. Athalia, I think. Um, they, they, I guess, were like like the Ghostbusters. You know, they went after these <laughs> terrible uh, things and and tried to send them back. Then who the hell is this guy? And I point that was left of rich. That's his kid. Yeah. Kid. How long ago was this shit? You're right. It has to How be. How rich? That, that must be his kid. Leo, let, let uh, Joey read that first thing I've earmarked. Yeah. Uh, and as you guys share information, you can look up yep. and see nearby on the front doors of this thing, there's a large frame picture. And you can see a family picture showing the uh, father, Curtis Wilson and Marlene Wilson and their three children, two quite young children, and then the oldest son, a teenager. Um, as you get up close to it and look at it, you can see there is a striking resemblance to what would later be the rundown form of Rich. And I recognize the other little boy as someone that uh, threw a sneeze on me, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, holy shit, this is messed up. Can we At get that, out of here yet? Yeah, yeah so I, on, need, I, I need to see a doctor. On the, At We got to find Evan. He's kind of... He needs to let me clean him some yeah. more, but he's oh, being yeah. a jerk. Evan! Evan! Start shouting. Evan, you're upstairs. You can hear the others calling your name. Is it them, though? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's um, clean now. Come out. <laughs> We've got the cleaning power. This is Comet. This is good shit. I, I'm I'm catatonic almost. <laughs> oh, oh, sure. We're going to have to find him. Way out. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I, I need to call. I'm going to wait. Okay. One of you broke my phone. Can someone call like 911 here? And uh, as, as Sam, as you begin to phone, you hear one more final bang at the door. Uh, this time, it's the sound of a uh, shotgun blast outside. And you see the front of the door actually cave inwards as the two front doors open. You see a woman you would guess in her late 60s with long tangled hair standing behind it holding the shotgun. At her side on the front porch of this estate, you can see there are multiple large cans and and, and gasoline tanks sitting there. Um, the world outside her seems to be the world you left behind. You can see the normal streets and cars. <clears throat> she levels the shotgun at you, Joey, being the closest. And, and stares at you wildly and says, where is he? Is it done? I still can't pronounce your name. Alethea. <laughs> she snaps to, to look at you and says, how do you know that? We saw the journals. He's dead. He's dead. The thing is gone. It's closed. The barrier, whatever the fuck, it's done. Let we me out of here. Clean. We just need to clean up. Let me out of here. people clean. I need to see a doctor and my daughter. And don't burn this place down to you grab Evan. He's, he's somewhere in there. Oh, and we need our bonus. Yes! <laughs> I want our, a lot of money for this shit. Are you sick? If you're sick, I can't let you out there to infect I'm others. I'm not sick, and neither is this sick. incredible paragon of... I, clean... Read... Joey, I, I read the book. I can't infect my daughter. Read the book. Do, do whatever the book. you need to do. I read can't infect my daughter. Read the book, Joey. Leo, show him oh, the book. Leo's read this. The book. Yeah. Read the book. Read this uh, part. I, I'll clean you up. Go got, to the. I don't know. Do I have a magical? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll read. I mean, I wouldn't know that. So yeah, I'll read. Um, yeah, yeah. You read, and as you you get to the end of it, you can you can simply see that it's it it is a spell called cleanse flesh that um that appears as though it would help. Is that you're not sure that you have the energy left to cast it, Joey? Read it yourself. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll but, read it. Uh, and then I'll start reading it. Um, oh, if, Leo, yeah. if Leo's willing to bring it down and uh, Athalia <laughs> looks at it and says, you found one of the spell books. Wait, what's the spell book? Jory, read oh. it if you want to live and especially if you want to give your daughter braces. 
wait, this book gives braces and he starts. <laughs> yes, reading. it gives braces. Joey, Joey ain't that smart. He has an end of 40. She, wow. so, she lowers the shotgun seeing that uh, you don't represent a threat. And she said, there's one more of you left alive in here. Yes, he needs to be cleaned. He's he's in there. Can you get him? Just bring Each him out. Of, yeah. And I'm going to start reading while they, yeah. yeah. As the rest of you go to recover Evan, he is nonsensical and and catatonic um you you are able to and even athelia is willing to join in the spell casting and and it's clear that she sees that you're willing to to help and that um she stares sadly down at uh, rich's body and maybe speaks to gabe as he still stands there and she says arnold was once a very nice young man this he didn't know what me and his father did, but eventually it came back, as it does to any who hunt these things. But it's gone now. It's gone now, but still, We're good. We, should, we should burn this place. Yeah. Yeah, let, let me out of here. And now the, the water's a co-violation, too. Ask him, and I point to the <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, I already started a fire in the kitchen. And um, as your group slowly makes its way out of the house with new fires set behind you, uh, Athalia is being pretty uh, attentive to to making sure that it spreads and it catches. Uh, the five of you are led from the house to the to the lawn. Uh, what you see now is a bizarre mismatch of the infill houses and the original mansion. Some trace of it still remains, but uh, not for much longer as fire slowly begins to sweep through it and, and pick up pace. Good riddance. Um, at this point, your phones are able to connect back to the real world to, to 911 or whatever emergency services. And um, we'll flash forward at this point in time to um, perhaps days from now or weeks from now as you each struggle in your own way to move on from this. Um, I think that Evan's probably got the most, uh, severe impact probably. So we'll hit him last. Let's go to Gabe first. Yeah. So I, I go, I go to my grands and talk to her because she's from the old country and she, she knows things. And, uh, uh she tells me that, that I saw something come in from the other world and uh, she takes me through this whole thing with eating the right food and wearing, you know, homemade clothes that are very itchy and uncomfortable. And <laughs> and um, uh, I stay with her for for three months while she ministers to me. And uh, uh, then after that, I uh, I go to college to get out of uh, out of this biz. No more for me. No more. Good for you. Well done. Sounds sounds good. Let's hit Leo next. Uh, your son owes you big time. I think for the for this one. You know what? I think the great the, the the way I'm going to get back at him. I'm just going to give him this business because <laughs> I'm done, and he he can make excuses for himself. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna like I'll like just recovering. I'm just gonna like get wrapped up in like like occult writings and stuff like to try to make sense of what I just, what I said, what I just did, what I did to myself to close that portal and just kind of fall into the yeah. end. And I'll, I'll eventually I'll just reach out to Athalia. Yeah. Athalia better... is, is, is willing to help you with this if you're interested. Yeah. Just to get a better understanding. Cause it seems like, okay. I feel like it seems like from the, from, cause we shared notes and like people were telling us the, the papers they found, it seems like they thought they closed it. And it still came back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that and that sits with me. And I'm just waiting for the day for it to come back again. So and I, so every time I see a pile of dirt or a, oh. a you know dirty boots, I get nervous. If not this, something. And uh, she tells you that with a very serious expression. And yes, she definitely takes you under her wing. Let's move over to Joey. So so you guys will find Joey at a uh, dental office. <laughs> you know, nervously waiting outside. Um, and, and, you know, he's just pacing around. It's been, you know, two, two, three hours. And then the door to the um, sort of um, the, the dentist opens 
And then this, you know, little girl, probably no more than six year old, you know, hops out and she smiles. And with Invisalign, you could barely see any braces. And Joey just, you know, his hands still twitch. He still looks haggard, but he just has this giant smile planted on his face. And that's all that matters. Okay, let's turn over to Sam. Well, uh, I've still got alimony to pay, so I see if I can deviate and do stuff that involves cleaning so I can stay close to cleaning supplies. Maybe yes, there's right. a lot of yeah. work where I could be cleaning things. Yeah, absolutely. And I I still feel sort of semi-responsible for Evan, so wherever he ends up, I'll visit and I'll, I'll give him like cleaning supply presents. You'll check in and, and we'll go to that scene now on maybe a Sunday afternoon as you stop in. Evan, where do you think you are? Oh, I've been institutionalized. Um, I for I probably spent a few months screaming things about Hyperborea and the yep. four extinct volcanic cones of Vormithadreth. Yes, and Aboloth, mm -hmm. Aboth, and the pool of all uncleanliness, and that, that's uh, the one. Screaming about Sathugua and Atlaknacha, and oh uh, wow, you can say those words. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, good. and the high priest Clarkash Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. See, yeah, maybe eventually, after years, they calm me down. But yeah, well, yeah I'm, Sunday... I'm, I'm, I'm disabled. On this Sunday afternoon, Sam, you uh, sit at a small table with Evan. His arms are restrained. Well, I'm just happy to talk to him, and I brought him whatever cleaning supplies he wanted me to bring him. So. Not strong enough. Not strong enough. Stronger. Stronger? This is like 99% carbolic acid. This isn't strong no, enough? Mur muratic acid. Muratic, muratic acid. acid. All right, muratic acid. Okay. At that point, a uh, <laughs> nurse comes up and puts her hand on Sam's shoulder and says, well, we hope you've had a nice visit today, but we should, uh, we should let Mr. Ash have a rest. Okay. Just make sure his bedclothes are clean. He needs them clean. I know. We do our best to to keep up with him. Yeah, and I do believe that your visit. Here, actually, I brought him. I brought him fresh stuff from the factory. It's still factory sealed. Can use these tonight. Isn't that nice? And she gives you a kind of a side look at that, but 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 agrees to it. And as she walks you out, she says, "You know, your visits do quite a bit of good for him. I do believe it's helping." And we'll flash back at that point to where Evan is in the chair. And as he sits there, the camera zooms in slowly on a small black tendril in his left ear that just slowly begins to snake out a little bit and stretch across his head. And that's, again, where we'll end it with uh, In Filth comes on the screen and the credits roll. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. Really, really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Clark Ashton Smith, so oh, yeah. I, I picked up. I, I'm I glad you know that stuff off the top first. of your head. That was great. <laughs> I, I didn't oh, pick gosh, up on Tom. it at first. But, oh, yeah. you were good. Yeah, you you do rattle those names off well. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I... <laughs> nice. Wait, so, yeah. so, so the overall story is what they tried to kill a dirt demon, didn't wipe it completely, and then it ate the guy and his family? Yeah, oh, essentially, yeah. So, yeah, um, the Curtis Wilson was a doctor, and uh, after many years out of, um, for a long time, he had been a mythos hunter or or a fighter of the otherworldly enemies, and uh, with uh, several partners, some died off, and, and eventually it was down to him and Athalia left, and um, after several years without contact, she showed up at his doorstep to inform him that there was new cult in town operating somewhere. The two of them went there, wiped them out, but in the process of it, his he had been infected by Abhoth mm -hmm. without really realizing it. Uh, they left, and he went back home, went back to normal life, and within a few months, infection overwhelmed him and his family. Um, everyone died except for Arnold. Arnold got away, whereas the two younger kids and Curtis and his wife all all passed. At his funeral, Athalia is the one who showed up and, and scared everyone off and, and burnt everything. At the very beginning of it, she's the one who lit the house on fire, thinking that would be enough. And um, 
Arnold never had the right spell book. Arnold went through his books and found the books. And, and instead of finding a way to cure himself, he went back into the mythos himself and, and went towards a path of trying to negotiate with Abhoth in, in order, which was never going to work. But he was going to drag you guys down with him and, and uh, everyone else. So He was a lousy boss. <laughs> <laughs> he was a lousy boss. And, yeah. He was. Uh, yeah, a Abhoth uh, is the the pool of all uncleanliness, and it's 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 sort of nature is that every little bit of it is Abhoth, and, and it's constantly breaking pieces of itself off that are becoming more and more of it and spreading and uh, so really yeah you you're if you're uh, touched by it even if you're cured if there's the tiniest little bit of it then it uh, just grows back it's horrible uh, we just recently had it in another know, game i know oh. and by that point we had this booked and uh and oh my god oh. he was just so good at making it and gross is that oh my god and i was like oh you know what at first i was really worried I was like okay is that good but then i realized you know what that's just going to mean that it's going to come to everyone that much easier when they do yeah. see it because i'll be familiar with uh with rural meltdown right yeah i think uh, yeah no uh, it's it's a good it's a good nasty monster oh, yeah, yeah. But, but was there anything we missed like you know big secrets or things um like that? there there were i think one or two other things there was a chance that you could um i look up dr wilson on a mm. phone or something i had like a little right. wikipedia entry made for him that lists something yeah. and that would have tipped off some of the i th i will find it here i think he said a book called the vermitidroth cults and um and it just had a little more basic info that might have connected you a little bit more to mm -hmm. who he was as the writer of the journal pieces. Um, I think that's the main one. I will admit that the um, had you used the bleach as a weapon, it would have hurt the abominations. It would have been oh, uh, nice. Oh, yeah, cool. uh, good. And uh, of the previous groups that played it, only only one group ever chose to do that, and yeah, mm -hmm. it, it helped them quite a bit. So, cool. um, other than that, that's... yeah, that was a. Uh, Great chaotic battle at the end. It was Everything great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Let's, Let's go ahead and I, I, finish yeah. up. Uh, uh, yeah. Our our players included Troy Lehman, Billy Chung, uh, Joseph Clay, Steve Anderson, and myself with Mike McKinn as the game master. We have a Discord server where you can chat with other members. You can set up private games, and you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Spotify, Podbean, or iTunes. As I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, uh, support for the show is provided by our patrons who are listed in the closing credits. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answering any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayleigh, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck and good gaming. <laughs> <laughs>